figure I'll start the stream as you're pouring beef eater. There you go. Don't reuse your bottles at the bar, folks. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's illegal to do. Yes, right? it is. <laughs> you can't do that at the bar, man. I, don't, I mean, I can, I can get it. Like, it's fine in 99% of circumstances. Yeah. But when you I have that bottle you're not mixing, you're not mixing brands or something right. goes bad in one, and you know you're mixing with another. Like especially if you keep now if That's we do been like a year old. Yeah. So now there's partially a year old of stuff in here. Say there's something growing in here, we just pour it in there. Right, you contaminate the whole thing. Yeah, so now we get here. Now we pour it into a new full bottle. Right. Now we just contaminate yeah, the other bottle. You're just maintaining contamination. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, well, uh, fortunately, unfortunately, however you want to look at it, there is no way that that's a year old because both of these bottles are under two months old because we just drink a whole lot of it yeah there's well, some good gin cocktails out there which we will be exploring on the craft cocktail very soon sure. I, I think we're alive and that should yeah i gotta i gotta start that i just I, had i saw the screwdriver video that you put out there yeah dude you want to know how hard i was awkward in that i was like that was our first one i know right we we're kind of just getting our feet wet on that one so, uh, but I like the editing though. The editing is really good. The, yeah. the, <laughs> so this is just recycling, right? You don't have this beef eater bottle? Yeah. I stopped collecting those too. You stopped collecting. You're not going to sign these and send them off people? I was, I don't want to. <laughs> but, my, my eyes don't have time. Plus well, I'll have another one in another week here. What you do is you just fit, see what ones people want, like what bottles people want, and you sign them. And then when you finish it, you can send it. That way you don't have to yeah, keep it. You, you sign it and you put a sticky on it so you know. I don't know how this. Seriously, reset, restart. How's the number? Uh, what? I should have asked Jenna if she was done with The Walking Dead 2. I would have brought three over. Um, I had to, but I ran out of time. Yeah. I'm not sure I'll find out this one. I'll get the chat working in a minute. It's just my system is booting or whatever this is. Um, Your TV's booting? My TV is booting. Boot the TV! I don't know what to do with this. The problem is it's such a big freaking bottle. Can that be Friday Scotch and Scotch? I like that Scotch and Scotch. Yes. We're in uh, southern New Hampshire, in a bunker far below the earth. <laughs> yes, the bunker. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Oh, so she's... Okay. She's building cocktails, but she's using the, the back stock that I put over here. Oh. I gotta fit... This is a project that, <laughs> that I have to do. That you're working on? Well, I can't... I can't have... Uh, Wait, doing are those fire. new racks? Huh? Did you add new racks in there? Those have been there since Never. these are there. Okay. Um, about two weeks after that one, it was over there. It was there. It's just there's so much going on. Like, so I'm, I'm trying, this year's my goal to make money with awesome drinks because we lost $6,000 right. last year. And Which is great for taxes, poor for... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, because I'll pay taxes, but I just need to be able to pay bills. So one of the ideas that uh, one of the folks came up with, that one of the YouTube people I was talking to, I mean, it was an idea, but it was something I had thought about once, but reality kind of plays into play. Is He's like, well, here's the problem. He's looking at the store. He's like, I love cocktails, but I don't know what to make. So how do I, what do I buy? I'm like, okay, I see your problem. <laughs> like, I'm giving you, he's like, if, if you're a bartender or you're a bar, you just go there and you buy what you want. If we say, yeah. you should buy a library and go granny, you could buy that. But if you don't know what to make... Right. It, the thing it's we saw yeah. here is figuring that out. Right. So I like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch the first three will be basically three cocktails, very similar to a cocktail kit mm -hmm. that you just buy. Like it's gonna have, one has Libra or shot, ice cube trays, two glasses, everything like you need to build besides alcohol. Right. To be able to make the cocktail. Nice. But she's building recipes for it because some of them don't have good recipes. So that'll work in that. I'm just typing in your stand. Oh. Hi, Ro. Hey. Show up on the I meant to ask if you were done with The Walking Dead. I would have brought over some more. Oh, uh, no, and I was going to text you. I'm like, uh. oh, he's probably already gone. <laughs> yeah, it was like I was home for like five minutes. Yeah. Traffic was awful. I had to just go, boop, turn around, and leave. <laughs> <laughs> did, you know, did there's you... some things you don't have to share. 
Well, okay, go do stuff, turn around. <laughs> did you uh, did you read it or? Yeah, I'm yeah. almost done. You like? I'm almost done the second one. It's so I love that comic. It's so oh, good. It, it's been so long since I started the series that I forget if what's happening in the book is actually happened in the show. Right. How much did it cost? It's so yeah. It's because it's so spread out time wise. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Well, I mean, Kyle I think the it? major the major what's that, Kyle? happened, but like. I was trying to remember if Donna was in the show. Right. She oh dies gosh. in the book and her husband... Right yeah. now, that's where I'm at. She died in the book and her husband, you know, trying to cope with that. It has the two little boys. Right. That they're all like, get your shit together because you have two little boys. Right. You got, you got to get your shit together for them. <laughs> right. So. Do you want this stuff out or you want me to put this away? These wood guys. Okay, we're going to... That and you can put away. That we're going to need soon. Once I figure out how to get nice. the away. Yeah, I had a box of comics when I got home sitting on my because I they get delivered oh, they? every every two weeks. Yeah, Chester, New and Hampshire. and uh, sometimes they're fast, sometimes they're slow. Like so before like, I left, it, the last shipment came like the Tuesday before we left. Mm. And then this one that shipped on Wednesday got here today. Oh really? So sometimes it takes two days, sometimes yeah. it takes seven. Yeah. <laughs> Six. That's so, weird. Yeah, so I'm up to my eyeballs in new comics right now because nice. I wasn't around to read them last right. week. So. How do I pop out? They changed the eye on me! Did you have any to take with you? Uh, I didn't want to risk it because uh, I don't want them to bend my. Lost, yeah, yeah, and I don't have a container to keep them in. And... Yeah. Um, so we have a we Manchester, New Hampshire person. That's oh, close. Mitch, nice. What's Manchester, that? Hudson, you're like 20 minutes away. Yeah, that's close. <coughs> Uh, Cocktail something get laid. Thank you. Having a Negroni oh. while watching you guys. Well, that's good, Pat, because tonight on the agenda is making a Negroni. Good to have so. you back, Kyle. Oh. It's half, halfway to the tails yeah. already. Okay. Is it really? Holy crap. Yeah, it's January. Tails in July, so six months. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's one way to look at it. <laughs> I just look at it as how to... This is a home bar and the city. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's both. His dad built it, so it was basically His free labor, labor materials only. Right. So yeah. that's why it was so cheap. But the labor would have been I don't even a know. lot. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not think about yeah. that. That sounds gross. You could probably estimate labor at about twenty five, thirty grand for this, no? Yeah, that's probably what he would probably it would probably be a little bit more if he charged people. Right, because it took him quite a while and yeah. the bar top was well, a couple years. Everything's custom, yeah. If he if he worked on it like to get it done as opposed to doing it for me. Right. Like, <laughs> whenever he felt like it, and <laughs> for two and a half years, and then finally starting it, and more, maybe more than two and a half years. <laughs> right. Having a Negroni? Good choice. So yeah, I can move this, because I don't think we need that much space. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming we're going to Tails this year. You guys are going, right? Yep. Yeah. I just yeah, got to figure out. Go. I have to deal with logistics of like how yeah, to we order. Yeah, to come to watch our kids. Watch the kids. I, I can't oh. do that. That's not <laughs> That's happening. Right. That's not happening, so. Oh, oh Bonnie? <laughs> no. No. Maybe you ask my mom or my sisters. Maybe the combination. I mean, it's only like four or five days. It's not like you're gone. Yeah. Yeah. So. And they could pretty much hang out by themselves. Yeah. Just not if you could bounce them between forever. two people, then it's like too many vacations for them, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just yeah. well, spitballing. Yeah. That, that may, may make more work to organize. Well, not a problem. Well, no. I mean, all of our family lives within 20 minutes of each other. Yeah. So it's not that far of a stretch. I mean, even if no, you could, they could hang out at home all day long. Yeah. Right. And then someone could come get them after work and bring them and, and they're know, not, sleep over wherever. Right. They're pretty self sufficient at this age. Yeah. Where were you from in New Hampshire? Paul Sumo. Hola como esta? More people from New Hampshire? Yeah. Hey well he used to live in New Hampshire but he moved seventeen years ago. Seventeen. Yeah, are you gonna go back, Kyle? Did you have a good time? Yeah good time last year, I'm assuming? I had a good time. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Maybe uh, maybe this time Kyle could go in the transvestite bar with us instead of hanging outside. <laughs> It'll be fun. <laughs> that was awesome. Where are you? Uh, well, we're at this bar that Jalitha brought us into that's just a bunch of men. I think it's a gay no, bar or transvestite. Told us to go it wasn't a gay bar. It was a drag show. It was a drag show. So drag. I mean, yeah. I'm guessing a lot of gay people hang out there, but it was a drag show. It was a drag show that only had men in the audience. So well, I'm going to guess. Dressed, but the people performing were men dressed up like really nice looking women. <laughs> sure. But it still didn't, like, he yeah, still didn't go. Yeah, tell him the next town over from where we're at. Where is he? 
He was from Pelham. Oh, I hated Pelham. Went. I went to high school or grade school in Pelham for a oh. week or two. Sorry. <laughs> it was just bad. Not a good place to go to school. Oh, we're going right into the cocktails here, aren't we? Yeah, why? Why don't we get some ice? Oh, you yeah. could do that. I have to um, pull out the slow gin. This is a yeah. This one has some ingredients. Well, it really doesn't have that many huh. ingredients. This this is lagging behind. So like yeah, we'll you just this. answered that Pelham question. And it just came on my screen right now. How do you know? How you do can't I know? hear I heard it. you answer she, it. She's reading lips. Oh, are you reading the lips? <laughs> no. Well, you can't hear it when he I, said. Do you know where Pelham is? Uh oh. oh. You just answered that question. Yeah. Oh, your That's screen's That's how loud. I know. And, I the te- and the you. text just came over? Yes, the text just your came text over. Your text is low. Wicked laggy. That's what I just said. <laughs> uh, I don't have any chartreuse recipes right now. Um, I can tell you what they all are, but it's on Facebook. Um, that guy's building. Nice. Even though you guys probably read that like five minutes ago. Yeah, we read that. <laughs> no, I didn't. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't read it. I'm just surprised I have a little crown next to my head. Well, well they fun. changed Put the big boy the pants on and stay, let's stay up late this year. I think Best I said chartreuse that last year, recipe. I, I always thought chartreuse, the only thing I could think of was a course driver. I don't even think it's in there. <laughs> uh, mm. Chartreuse. Sure, search the channel for chartreuse. Yeah, right. I mean, it should be there. Oh, I know we've used it. We've done it. So we're going to do the slow, comfortable screw up. I want, I want to say up against, but that's not really what it is. Ow! There you go. Slow, comfortable screw against the wall. Oh, one of the cocktails that's missing from here. Oh, I moved the jungle juice out, so that's not exactly right. So instead of doing jungle bring juice. Did you your little get up? I didn't because I he had was zero time. Because, yeah, um, so instead of doing jungle juice, we're going to do the Trump impeachment cocktail, which we'll do next. That way it's out on time. Uh, did, you, did you see my Instagram? I did. Okay. <laughs> well, well, th- did that you cocktail? Read it? No, I saw the cocktail. Oh no! When you, it was a Facebook it was, ad. No, no, it was all about reading it because I put a lot of crafted work into this. I'll read it to you. Okay, you read it to me while I get sliced. Well, you're not going to be in here. <laughs> uh, it's. <laughs> wow! Well, wait, forget it. No, Brad, I'm listening. No, no, I'm good. Hold on. Your voice carries. What else can you do? The Negroni, the White Russian. Death by Sex, which is a John Spikes recipe. Black Manhattan, which I might also be a John Spikes recipe. And then there's a, a Braveheart cocktail, which didn't have a name from one of our viewers. He wanted me to name it. I wanted to do something hip and trendy. It used Drambouille. Drambouille's from Scotland. Braveheart happened in Scotland. Made sense. Anyway, so the, the, the Trump look. Hip and trendy? I don't know why I said that. Yeah, I, because uh, that's like so <laughs> 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that's cool. So. Uh, the this is this is the slow cocktail screw up against the wall, which is kind of a riff off the Harvey Wallbanger, right? Yes. So it only makes sense that the Trump cocktail is a riff off the Hall, Harvey Wallbanger because it's got the wall, right. but it doesn't have Galliano because it lost his rights and was sent home. So there won't okay. be any Galliano in it. Uh, oh, it's got peach. It has peach. It has that peach. It's got the word peach in it, right? So it's got Cheetos as a rimmer, which is why that's over there on the glasses. Because it's got an orange top. Uh, yeah, they ha- because it has an orange top. But it, uh, I figured Cheetos didn't really fit with the, the the recipe, so so my theory was it doesn't fit, but it wants to be at the top anyway to make a difference. So that's why it's got the Cheetos. It, Russian vodka, Russian standard, obviously, because it's why from Slovenia. Oh, Putin. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you'll find this to be a, a sweet start, but it leaves a bitter taste in your mouth in the finish. <laughs> All right. Yeah, dude, I thought it's through those politics. <laughs> I, 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 it's it's easy. Take all your stereotypes, all your news articles, right. combine them together. Cocktail. <laughs> easy peasy. Well, we, should we use Russian standard twice in a row? They're not paying us. Do we have anything? Hey, oh, that's today's pay video. Me my money. So today's video, I used I used uh, th- this versus this. Th- these two, the Casamigos versus Casamigos, like the old one and the new one. Yep. Taste comparison. And I was I was like, well, you know, I don't want to give these guys, you know, free press. So I made sure to mention that Siete Leguas is the better product. Oh, there you go. That way, it's not sponsored. Oh, Jesus. Oh, let's use. Can we finish this? Jesus. Yeah, let's finish it. Uh, I, no, we, it's a flask. It's bigger on the bottom. There's like five ounces in there. Well, you can finish it and I'll use some of it. No. <laughs> let's see. I know you can do it. 
You've been practicing your drinking. I'm always practicing. That's that's my job. You gotta practice. You gotta keep up to. This is such a freaking obnoxious bottle. Yeah. I love Galliano, but I hate the bottle. Uh. I'm sure many people are on the same. But... You like black licorice? Yeah. One of my favorite co uh, cocktails is the Golden Cadillac. But. Uh, yeah, but this. This is. I don't mind that one. I don't care for black licorice. This is I like black licorice. I, I drink Sabuca as I digest yeast sometimes yeah. after dinner with the coffee. But Authentico, some people have ones that have vanilla in them, and we don't have that. That's that's a problem. Wow. What? Finished oh, the can you sit the cameras up? You know what we should do? We should do the technique we need for the craft cocktail one. Is that? Patrick says bright parts an existing cocktail. No. Mine is better. What's up, Troy? I don't really know if that's the case, but... What are we doing for the craft cocktail? Just a napkin? This. Well, you know how we put it here so we can find it? Oh, yeah. The yeah. spot? The napkin? Well, yeah, but if you just put the napkin between that little red line, like, that's what we were doing before, and all of them seem to be in focus. True. So you just have to slide it so that the napkin is right between the red line with about an inch and a half between that and the border. It's going to go higher. It wasn't when I filmed because I didn't know that fact. Hey, there's some chocolate down here. One and a half, 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 three and a half. Should I fresh squeeze the juice or does it matter here? Yeah, what? Do you want to free squeeze the juice or? Oh, yeah, we can free pre squeeze it. The uh, oranges? Yeah, because yeah, there's a pile of oranges. I bought more oranges. That's actually the first. Should I use this one? Or yeah, I just left it there because. I need it for the oh, we're cocktail. using orange juice and local cocktails, right? Yeah. Oh, dude, a lot. Okay, I'm just gonna. Squeeze. I'm gonna say we probably need about nine ounces total, maybe a little bit more, because the impeachment has four. This one has three, right? Three and a half. Um, there's another couple that have like a little here and there. Yeah, they're paying the butt to squeeze. Squeeze it all away. I'm trying not to get the pulp wedged oh. in there. So I think I can get enough uh, juice yeah. without wedging the thing on there. But just yeah, because those ones are big. They're going to squeeze pulpies. Right pulpies, pulpies. Oh, that was nice. Just fucking move. So what else is going on, my homies? Andrew's first, Andrew's first live stream. Welcome, Andrews. Once a month. It's just like your period. What? What? That could be our new thing. That could totally be <laughs> your new thing. <laughs> <laughs> so was it just was it just Brianna went over with you for the cats or did Liam go too? For what? Cats. The cats. Uh, Brianna, Liam went the first day. Oh, okay. Or the first time. First day. Um, <laughs> and then it was just Brianna. Oh, okay. Yeah, brother like will hiss, but he doesn't know what to do afterwards. <laughs> so he like hiss, and then he's like. Yeah. I did it. He was like smelling, You're still he here. smelled her hand, and she was Denmark, all excited. Huh? Yeah. And then, <laughs> then she comes back out. He hissed at me. <laughs> well, I got home. He was howling like. Rrr. Yeah, he did. He he would cry. Yeah. Like she was in there, like trying to get close to him, and he would go. Rrr. He he loves contact. He just needs to really know you before. Yeah. He, he, he doesn't like he he wasn't leaving me alone since I've been back. Really. Like he has to be right on me. It's kind of human, but... Yeah. So we tried. <laughs> At least he had humans in the room with him. <laughs> yes. Which is a, a big help. Yeah. Poor little guy. <coughs> yeah, as soon as we walked in, I turned on the TV, and then we heard him. He went, whoa, but he never came out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then Brianna went in the first time. I have t-shirts. The second time I didn't bother with the TV. I'm like, yeah, you didn't fall for that. <laughs> that was a bad one when I leave. Yeah. His little friend is gone. Yeah. Sure. More sister. So, look, I just gave you a couple of some cash. I have a couple of. I don't need to pass. That's fine. Cocktailsonspreadshirt.com. Because it's like, I remember pet sitting when I was a kid. It was like a little mini job. Yeah. So, something. I told our kids you watch Kevin all the time. Still here. Our trunk cocktail is a shooter of orange juice and clementine vodka called the spray tan. <coughs> See, the problem with calling it the spray tan for me yeah. is that's never going to get 
the hits. Yeah, so luckily, it has yeah. to have the word Trump. So luckily, in it. Nicole's sister was by that next day. Yeah, I swear I pulled on that door, but apparently I'll, not. I'll come home sometimes and I'll shut the door when I'm coming in, and I'll go out in the morning and the door's cracked. Really? Yeah. So it doesn't always shut, yeah. especially in the cold. Ghost. It doesn't always shut well. Yeah. So I've been I've been making a conscious effort to pull myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was just worried about him. Thinking he might get out, but I know there's two doors. Yeah, so. they, that's what I. That's yeah. what I said, Brianna. I'm like, luckily there's two doors, yeah. so there would be no. And then I was worried about the neighbors because they're a little shitty. Oh, are they? <laughs> yeah. So if they saw the door, but I was kind of. Like, oh. So is the bottom uh, door the open one or the top one? The bottom. Yeah, the oh. bottom because she wouldn't have seen it walking by. Yeah. Was the uh, top one. When I left, yeah, when I left the second, at least there was there probably wasn't much yeah, time. Yeah, went over on Wednesday. Yeah. Like, later Wednesday. And if she went over Thursday morning, at least it yeah. wouldn't have been much time that it was open. Yeah, no, I wasn't. So, I wasn't uh, reprimanding. No, no, I, <laughs> I, just, I, no, I felt bad because that's the last thing I, I want to do is what, like leave what, your house yeah. open, especially when you're not even in the country. Well, well, I had like shitty service, so I couldn't text too much. Uh, I, I called there. I didn't want to like be like, "Hey, you left my door open." No. I didn't want you to think I was doing that. No. I just <laughs> Nick Campari was probably the biggest so, waste of money. And then when I left the. What did we go back on Friday? I pulled it, I heard it shut, and then yeah. I pushed on it. I'm like, all right, that thing is not opening. If that opens, somebody else has a key, it's and a they're in this. <laughs> Stogie, I don't even have this open yet. See? Well, it's my second bottle. Oh, my bottle's gone. Ian goes through bottles faster because he actually drinks it. That's like maraschino um, liqueur for us. Yeah, maraschino right. is our fastest It's not something movie. most people enjoy drinking. No, beef eater and maraschino. Because you have a drink that you like. Exactly. Yeah. Um, if you're, if you're having a Negroni. So, uh, Dan and Jalitha had a date night and Jalitha's like, Hey, make us a drink. We want something different. And I'm like, all right. So I made them a drink using, uh, maraschino liqueur so they'd have to go buy it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's why the way you don't have to bring it over anymore. Yeah, well, we still brought it over, but if we forget, a lot of times we forget it. Yeah. So now if we forget it, at least I have it. Well, no, I, I didn't do a shot, like, Travis. No, don't forget the maraschino, maraschino liqueur. Yeah. It's not that common an ingredient, except for a couple drinks. Right. All right, let me find the camera buttons. Crap, where did I put the remote? Oh. Hey. How you doing? Whew. Yeah, that's really high. That's a nice line. Wow, is it really dark over here? Is it? Like, it is darker. Like, Where I'm at? Just, Can you turn yeah, that towards us? That's turned this way because I was doing oh, photos. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, oh, now I can't do a light check. No, it's super bright because I can't see anything. Well, don't stare at it. This is my first thing. I'll give you a su suggestion because I just did and I can't see shit. Well, you're gonna stare at it because you gotta look at me at some point, or you can not look at me. You can just ignore there. me. It's okay. What? It's super high. You want me to put it down? No, it's just higher than normally though. Yeah, Honestly. I just put it all the way out. I guess we must have it partially way out. I don't know. Yeah. Do you want me to even it out more? As long as the cocktail looks okay. It's going to look good. It'll be probably a little higher coming down, but I don't think it matter. As long as it looks sexy, I'm good. It's focused. We are going to get to drinking. I think we're already... We're about to get to drinking! Just had to squeeze up some OJ. Oh, we're going to need to filter that too, huh? Um, I probably should. Uh, do you have another one? I'll just filter it right now into a different one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know you have another one. Can you hand me another one? <laughs> I've got a bunch of them. I don't know what the other. I have like three of them and four of them, and I oh, they're way in the back. I have a lot of stuff, and I clean half of this stuff too. I try to sell some of those tins on eBay, and they don't even get viewed. The what? The tins. The shaker tins. Oh yeah. Just throw them up on eBay for like a couple bucks, and yeah. nobody seems to care. Oh, I got a lot of pulp. Pull through there, huh? Yeah, you should see what I did when I did the ones for the when we went to the football game last week. Yeah, I did that, but I just leave it under there as I'm squeezing. I was wasn't like, paying attention. Oh, it overflowed. It's completely full, and then I squeeze. I'm like, oh no, it's full. I notice right as it's now full, yeah. and it's now pouring all over the top. It was it was messy. Uh, try it, America, American and Leonard Dry. It was great once I removed Campari. Yes, if you have a if you have a Negroni with Al Campari, that's probably a better way. And if you like a Negroni but you don't like the heat of the gin, you can go Americano, Americano which is one part uh, ver ver sweet vermouth, one part Campari, and then top with uh, club soda. Is that I, what it is? Yeah, or soda water, club soda. Yeah. I like it. I think it's a really refreshing drink with that club soda. Just not Negroni. It's not Negroni. It's different no, drink. but it's still hard. 
likes the Campari. Yeah, yeah, so if you like it, we can Campari. Like Jen likes the Campari. Uh, yeah. Jen and Derek like their Campari. I like, my Campari. I like my Campari beside the, the cocktail. You can taste that in anything. Oh, it's so, <laughs> like, you cannot hide Campari. It's like Cokie, but not as strong. Cokie's like Campari, only not as strong? Yeah. Yeah. So I get to yell on this one? You get to yell on every one of them. I don't know. I think it'll be okay. We didn't yell People on the show. People, you remember people, how I had a... Work, not yell. <laughs> Some people, work. yeah, yeah. Until like Tony's, you're like, welcome to. Dude, I can't deal with this. Top the craft, cut. Yeah. Is that better? Well, it's like the camera's here, and like, I don't know. It's weird. It's like right on the pole. No, right there on the pole. <laughs> Uzo. <coughs> you ready? I think so. We'll make you a better cocktail creator. You like? Okay, ready? Yep. Do you want your muddler? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no, you can't have your muddler. <laughs> she looks like a flea. Oh, I wish I could get a hold of this guy. It looks like a female pleasure toy. The Fulberg? So Sounds like a female pleasure toy, too. <laughs> yeah. Fulberg? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Common Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Sherwood. That's Ian Andrews. And we're here to make a cocktail for you today. Why? Why are we going to make a cocktail for you today? Because Common Cocktails, you don't have to answer, is all about utilizing great ideas Giving your taste buds something truly awesome, some new sensation, bringing it to the common man with lots of yelling. Yes. Muddle with a little bit of humor. And rhetorical questions. <laughs> rhetorical questions, I love it. <laughs> this is called the slow, comfortable screw against the wall. Yes. You want to explain why it's called that? I shall after While we I chalk. start making it. Yes, our executive producer is Alan Joyce. Oh, Alan. 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 Wait, maybe his name's Steve. <laughs> Steve. 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 Oh, it's on YouTube. You okay. can find it. Yeah. You want to run through the ingredient list as I move the screen? <laughs> All right. We got a uh, ounce and a half of vodka. We're using virus vodka because we're trying to get rid of it. Half ounce of slow gin. We got Plymouth. Uh, half ounce of Southern Comfort, original stuff. Three and a half ounces of fresh squeezed orange juice. And a quarter ounce of Galliano Authentico. That's which right. is the most annoying bottle in any bar. It is bad. It doesn't fit anywhere. It doesn't fit anywhere. It pours fast. But now it's known. Identify it from yeah. like way back you in always the room. You can. You know if they got Galliano in yeah. yes. Um, One thing I did want to mention, and I don't remember what it was. It was going to be awesome. Oh, you can, should subscribe <laughs> to the show because it's free. Just click the subscribe button. It's not hard to do. Uh, the The... Drink itself is kind of a variation on the screwdriver, which, if you watch the craft cocktail, mm. linked above, it's also youtube.com slash, ready? The craft cocktail. We just released today, so for you guys, last week, when does this go out? I don't even know when this goes out, but it's already happened. You could go out there and watch the classic screwdriver with a little bit of history to it. You could also buy the ebook at homecocktailmenu.com, and that makes it easier. This variation, however, has a big name to it, and the purpose is the slow gin makes it slow, the southern comfort makes it comfortable, vodka and orange juice is the screw. Driver. Driver. Um, against Galliano, which is the wall. Because the Harvey wall banger uses Galliano to flow. Right. right? So you've, you've got the, the kind of the, the mix of the two brought together. And then you get this long name. We've we've never done. I, last time I did this was like 2010 it's or a so. While, yeah. We did the one with the Mexican Mexicans. Mexican hooker Caribbean style. I don't know. Something. There was something crazy about yeah, it. Yeah. So everybody just adds something new to it to get a different. I don't know theme. <laughs> to build it, you're gonna shake everything. Did you put Galliano in there? Nope. Good. Because I know you read. You float it. You're gonna shake everything, and then you're gonna float your uh, Galliano on top. So shake everything. But your Galliano. Otherwise, it's it's really not everything. It's everything but Galliano. Then you're gonna put that into a Collins glass, which we actually have here with ice, and we're done. We have ice too. We do. It's like we're professional or something. It's not clear ice. It's okay. We're shaking, and it's kind of an opaque drink. I don't know. Our screwdriver looks pretty good with clear ice. Oh, that doesn't make a seal. <laughs> <laughs> right in the eye. Arg. There you go, Jen. Good one. Question of the day. Uh, here's a good one. What did she say? 
What is your preference, easy cocktails or challenging cocktails? Because I seem to get a lot more people. With taste being... Well, it tastes equal. Boom, boom, tastes equal. I mean, you can make a good... You can make an easy cocktail that tastes good. It's going to be a simpler flavor profile. But I think I've noticed that people... Yeah, that one will have will be launching eventually. Uh, the the reason I ask is anytime uh, what I've been doing is on all the easy ones. I put the word easy in front of it, so like this one's not that That's easy. Hard but, yeah, I hate this bottle. It is a pain. It's yeah, like fast, it, especially it goes the bottle. faster yeah, when it gets it lower. Comes all yeah. way so like the screwdriver is the easy vodka cocktail. If we do a daiquiri, it would That's be like easy rum cocktail. Don't do this at work. It's like don't do this at home, but you're doing it at home because that's what home people do right so should you should we straw this considering we just floated that on top or? i would think not no i don't think so either You're not gonna get it. i don't think it's a sipper yeah it looks i like the shade with the natural uh, freshly squeezed orange juice link above to watch why box big brand what do they call it grocery store orange juice is it's not orange not juice orange juice it's orange juice pressed then they suck out all the oxygen, which removes the flavor. Then they add their own fla artificially flavored stuff into it, and they get away without calling it artificially flavored anywhere on the box because, because they start it uses, with orange base. Because the base is the, the zest and the citrus. Yeah, it's cheating. So they can get away with not having to put it on the ingredient list. Taint fair. <laughs> it taint. Taint fair. It's so funny because the color of the slow gin is not in here at all. No. Oh, but there's some taste. And the Galliano is so much better than floating vodka on top. So this is a good drink. Yeah, so it there's not that many ingredients, but the thing is, the reason it has so much cool mm. nuance is because it's got like the it's almost like a I don't want to say raspberry, but a dark, fruity, yeah. brown sugary it's berry like a tart. Yeah. yeah, it's a tart molasses berry type yeah. flavor. And yeah. then the Southern Comfort is kind of already a liqueur of spicy flavor, like dif different flavor profiles playing into it to begin with. So you're getting all the nuances out of this yeah. and this. Galliano is his own thing. I yeah. can't even tell you. So if you love a screwdriver and that's your go-to drink, this is a really cool variation. Better. You should definitely try if you can get your hands on some slow gin and soco and Galliano. Yeah. Just because, like try it at a bar where they have these things to see if you like it. But it's yeah. like, it's a, it's a screwdriver only it's up a notch or two. It has more taste to it. A screwdriver tastes like orange, orange juice, juice and, vodka. and vodka. And that's what it is, yeah. Yeah, this that's doesn't have the booziness to it. <laughs> But, like, you can't get very nuanced with that. These no. flavors are easy. Southern Comfort should be able to be purchased anywhere. I don't know about Europe. True. But I know around here, that's like a... This is this is what people carry in the little bags, right? When they're drinking yeah. on the street. And flasks. And, and flasks. Whatever, yeah. um, and in the South, I'm guessing, because it's got the word Southern in it. And, and you should be able like to get slow gin anywhere. You buy it up. This is, this is at a higher end. Yeah. This is like a $50, $40, $50. It's expensive slow gin. But the nice thing is you, you don't get use anything. a lot of it because it's a really strong flavor. So you use it sparingly unless you yeah. have drinks that you'd love to have it in it. Yeah. You go through a little bit more of it. And then this, this is probably not as good as it could have been on day one, but whatever. It's, it's fine. It's, you did a video on that too. I did a video. If you ha you watch the video on how alcohol goes bad, where I compare a raspberry liqueur, which is still around here, is it really going tequila. bad or is it just changing? Oh, it's changing. But does it go bad? It's not bad. Like it like won't kill you. you. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. just it doesn't taste like it used to at all. Right. Well, oxygenation and all that stuff. Right. You won't put ball. Yeah, yeah. 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 You can watch the live stream, and uh, I will have Ian taste the raspberry liqueur, and he'll be able to see some of the differences. Oh, good. But <laughs> that you can only see on the live stream, which we do once a month. Yes. Other than that, I think we got our question of the day, right? Your complex or easy drinks. Answer the question below. Like this video and subscribe because liking is important, especially now on YouTube because interaction plays. Even dislikes. People dislike. Like, there's, I know who you guys are. There's two of you. And every few weeks you come by and you're just like everything. Well, guess what? That actually makes the video look better. Because it increases interactivity. YouTube mm -hmm. knows that people are paying attention. Boom. Right. So go ahead. Thank Dislike you. it, bitch. That's right. Well, what else do we do on this show? really confrontational. I know. Oh. Um, other than that, check out our ebook. It's homecocktailmenu.com. It's called Easy Vodka Cocktails. Almost fits this. Also go to thecraftcocktail.com. No. Don't go, go there. Don't go there. Go, go to, to youtube.com slash thecraftcocktail. Go, go check out the videos there and subscribe. Yes, do both all, all, all of those things. There's a lot of stuff you should be doing. Right Just now. do it all right now.
before you start watching some other video about your favorite sports team. Or the videos that are on the sidebar, make sure you click this little subscribe button. That's Every browser has tabs. Use them. Use your tabs! We're teaching you how to drink! Oh yeah, meetings. I forget how to do this show. I know, right? We recorded 15 shows. Today we're making a cocktail with a long name and a long bottle. Stay tuned to see if it's something you might like. I like long. <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> yeah. Right. It does have a long name. A long name and a long bottle. Long John! <laughs> I'm all about identifying patterns. That's what I, <laughs> wow, That's what great. I do. Congrats on the pattern identification. That's what I do for work. <laughs> I'll pick things up, I'll put them down, identify patterns. <laughs> it's better than a, um, what you call it? Screwdriver? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Totally. Oh, $72 order. Nice. Oh! When you're done. That's actually good. You do get brown sugar in that. Must right? Be the it's the slow. Comfort. No, it's the slow, I think. Yeah. Slow so taste like brown sugar? Have you tried? You tried so good. It I doesn't have. taste good by itself. Yeah, it doesn't it's taste wicked, good. No. It's wicked bitter. It's really strong by itself. Yeah. It's like, you know, lemonade's good, but lemons, <laughs> not the same. That's a good comparison. <laughs> lemons. Who knew? Yeah. That, where's the other one? It's not over there. Can you give me the tasting glasses? The black ones? No. The tasting ones. Oh, these? Oh, those? <gasps> yes. Yeah. There's a, um, so I get random calls from like telemarketers and stuff I don't pick up. And I Google the number to see what they are. And uh, on one of the things they linked a video to, uh, it's called Lenny, <laughs> Lenny talking to a telemarketer. And Lenny is a compilation of, it's just like a whole bunch of clips of this old guy just talking that they kind of work together to make the, it's like a recording, yeah. so that the telemarketer thinks he's talking to a real person, <laughs> but he's really awesome. not. Like, you know, she a, I was, I was just Sound talking boys. to my eldest about this a couple days ago, and um, she, she was saying that it's definitely something I should look into, and uh, uh, and he kind of like goes That's on and on, awesome. and he's like, oh yes sir, well, let me tell you, it's like a 20 minute thing, and at the end he's like, it's a recording, I've been talking to a recording, <laughs> can't believe this shit. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Is this the same product? That's yeah, the these are exactly the same. Wow, totally see color change, huh? Yeah. yeah. Which one's older? This one. <laughs> the one that looks like brown. Poop? Looks like brown. Oh, the smell is drastic. Yeah. I got one of those calls today. Wait, so that's not poop. That's good. No, it's not. No, poop. it doesn't taste like. Poop. It's not good, but it's, it's not poop. It's kind of brown sugary taste to it. Uh, I had a call today. I picked up Liam's cell phone. No big difference. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It kind of tastes like Hunker Graves. That oxygenation is bad. Can can they see that? They can if they watch if they look at today's thumbnail because it's actually a photo of those two. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can see the color difference. The uh, you ever get that guy that <laughs> that calls you up? Hi, Sharon. Courtney's mom. Oh. <laughs> did you did you ever get that that guy that calls up and says, "Hey, I have a a great deal such and such for you today. Can you hear me okay?" Like it's a recording, but oh, he, yeah. and he's asking, he wants to hear yeah, something. Yeah. Right. I'm like, no, awesome, great, <laughs> blah blah blah, and he just keeps going on. And like that's kind of how this thing was. It was like Lenny and the telemarketer, but funny. it was reverse. <laughs> Look at that. But that kind of tastes like Concord grape juice to me. It's a little yeah. bit like the Welch's. Yeah. Yeah. Where that one doesn't. Oh, we need but it's more raspberry, stuff. so that's funny. Did you guys want to drink some of this? Or should I just dump it? You can dump it. Yeah. Uh, because there's not enough drinking going on right now. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> oh, fresh grapefruit. I'll go get that. There's already cut grapefruit too if you need it. Uh, I do not think I do. The juicing? Juicing? I already did. How long does the shrubbery stay good? Will you put the um, drink back for one second, yeah. just because I moved it? Move up there. Yeah, now we're gonna need to cut orange for an orange wheel. Half orange wheel. <laughs> so we got four. There's probably. Four. Let me just squeeze a little bit more orange on here. Well, is, is this the last one that needs orange? No. Oh, jeez. It's the last one that probably requires as much. Oh, but I didn't check the setting. What did you have this on? I don't know. 
the other half, you want to slice an orange wheel and cut it in half? Yep. We also need it to rub, or we can use one of those too. Um, so we want to rub the glass. We'll rub it. Rub the glass so we can stick it. Oh. Oh. You can also lick it. Because I hear you gotta lick it before you stick it. Regiru? Hey, isn't he a Patreon subscriber? Is that pop culture reference lost? We want, uh, we're just doing half? Yeah, because he has a call over. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that works. You asked. <laughs> I was gonna wait until. but I just gotta stick it right on top and leave it there. That way it hardens a little bit. Oh, okay. Because you've done this before already. Okay, I did it about two hours ago. <laughs> uh, Russian Standard. Yeah, you got that. Peach. OJ. Still an easy cocktail. That was the goal. Yeah. You can uh, take that drink away now. Oh. I just moved the camera, so I didn't want to... I refocused to make sure it was... Focused. What kind of garnish pick would you like? The longest one you can find. Overcompensate. Oh, I'll overcompensate. That's not a garnish pick. It can be. No, just give me the stick. Get right through and like fly it, but without the cherry. The cherry is too fancy. I don't want to get too crazy. Well, this one you can find. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. My bad. That was me. For the challenge. This looks like it's gonna taste. Gonna be tasty. That's the thing. When I make stupid, ridiculous drinks, I still want them to taste good. And this is the shaking strain, right? Yep, I think so. Rim glass did that. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. crushed cheetah. Yep, did that. Stick into glass. Yep, did that. Leaf away build. Yep, shake strain. Flip over glass. Add ice. Strain and garnish. I guess shake strain. Flip can't over be glass because it's upside down. Oh, <laughs> yes, yeah, pour it upside down. Wow. <laughs> I'm like you wrote flip over glass. <laughs> it's just in that, case. Because I was gonna pour it on the bottom of the glass. So I'll see it upside down. <laughs> because he <laughs> wasn't sure how tired you were. You gonna work no, all you, day, you gotta you, know. you gotta flip over the glass because it shows. It's like it's for those that have never bartended before, doing it for the first time and learning as they go, just like Trump. Are you ready oh, so. to go? Don't forget to put open bottles. You know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> open bottles. Open bottles. Uh, uh, uns oh, we're going to stop this one. Unscrew, rescrew when you're done. Talk about how big your screw was. Yeah. <laughs> My screw was really, really big. Really big. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. Are you ready for this? Um, Here we go. It's got Cheetos, man. I'm, I'm all in. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Common Cocktails. I'm Derek. That's Ian. And today, we're going to explain to you why this channel is all about creating and utilizing great flavors, building cocktails that could be classic, but... That probably won't be. But probably won't be. <laughs> but maintain the classic look, feel, and taste. Yeah. Today we're making a cocktail I designed. It's called the Trump Impeachment Cocktail. It is a cocktail that has four ounces of fresh orange juice, an ounce of peach schnapps, an ounce of fresh grapefruit juice, all freshly squeezed juices, people. Always fresh. Ounce and a half of Russian Standard Vodka, and a half orange slice uh, with a large pick that's way bigger than it needs to be, and crushed Cheetos as your rim. <laughs> I saw this and I, I was shaking my head the second, yes! the second I saw this. Uh, this design uh, actually came out this Wednesday when I was talking with my little YouTube friends. We were doing some peer reviews of our channels and they are like, you don't have a Trump cocktail? And then they, I think they called it the impeachment cocktail. I'm like, it's going to have peach stops. So we started designing it and then from there it kind of went off the rails. Uh, but it's gonna, you're going you'll, you're gonna to love this cocktail. It's going to be very, very, very good. What? Did you do the producer yet? The executive producer for this episode wasn't a bolt, so I missed it. Is Kvet of Frecky. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's right here, so now you can read it. I don't it. want to break anything. I've never read it. No, it just pops right out. All right. I tend to break things. I know you do. I don't Even when you're cleaning. So this is another... Yesterday we did... Our, no, not yesterday. A couple days ago, we did the screw... The, the slow, comfortable screw up against the wall. That. 
this, and that's a kind of a, a riff off the Harvey Wallbanger in a way, and a screwdriver. It's also a pretty well known, almost classic. Is right. it, it might even be a classic drink. I would I don't think know. it's it's a it's a modern classic if you want to give it a name. Yeah. Like that. Uh, this will be the next modern classic. It's a spin off the Harvey Wallbanger, but we leave out the Galliano yes. because it lost its rights and was sent home. <laughs> so that's gone. So that you got your wall. Then, why would I possibly have picked Cheetos as the rimmer for this? Because it doesn't fit at the top, but it wants to be there anyway to try and make a difference. So you've got your Cheetos. And he looks like a Cheeto. And he also has some red hair. I don't know if you, or red, orange. orange hair. I don't know if you've noticed, everything about him is orange and blonde and- I've heard people say this. Yeah, I've heard uh, on the news. So. Russian standard. I, I didn't even think of the reference you came up with was that his wife was Russian. Well, she's from uh, someplace some, in the some Russian area. Yeah, but it's, it's a Slavic Siberia. Area. I don't know. Slavic oh, nation. Is it Slovenia. Is it Slovenia? We'll go with that. You need ice. Yep. Uh, however, this was more of a reference to his love of Russia and Putin. So the the story being that you know the Russians hacked everything and the election, yada yada yada. And then all that crap that goes on. So the it made sense. I know. So it made sense <laughs> to go with uh, with Russian standard for this drink. You can use whatever vodka you have. You don't actually have to get a Russian branded vodka if you don't want to. It's completely we optional. Know. You know, the brand of vodka doesn't matter. No. <laughs> uh, you're gonna find. Well, I I'll let you. I'll let the rest speak for itself. So am I just going in there? Um, you just, I just laid it on top, kind of like a half of a uh, hair. Oh, you want to move it? Now you got to move it all the way over here. Shit. <laughs> Just move right. it there. Yeah, I'll move it. I'll garnish it. See, look at that. What are you thinking? <laughs> I do it every now and then. Um, very, very not often. Oh, there you go. That looks <laughs> fancy. Very not often. Yes. This is a very, very, very good cocktail. Those are real Cheetos. Yep. Yep, oh, they're stale, though. <laughs> yeah, they've been out. They've been out a while. Wow. Uh, you're really, really, really gonna like this cocktail. I, I'm, I don't know what to think right yeah, now. Yeah, I'll take your garnish off. Try it. I mean, you already, you should know. You're gonna love this. Try it first. It tastes like burnt chutney. <laughs> <laughs> it's got Stupid a chutney with burnt hair. <laughs> uh, I was also thinking you could just do half the thing in Cheetos and half. Then I thought maybe I'll put it in a low ball, then maybe a high ball, or maybe I'll say it's a high ball and put it in a low ball and flip flop a few times. See, I'm using all but these he, references. But he hasn't flip flopped yet. He's doing everything no. he promised. Yeah, no, I mean like early on. Like oh, okay. he says something and then the next day he takes it back. It's like a fuzzy navel. Yeah. With grapefruit juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. A little sweet start. Yeah. And a nice bitter end. Is it bitter in the end? Yeah. A little bit. It's not, not like bitter like um, Campari. But yeah, it's kind of like a fuzzy navel wall banger without the Galliano and then a little dry tart finish. So, yeah. Which she does. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fuzzy screw against the floor. <laughs> that would hurt. <laughs> fuzzy screw against the sand. Uh, that would be a good time. Well, freshly squeezed juice is a lot of work for you. Mm. You gotta get. I don't even know what the, thing, how the name of this thing is. That's a squeezer. A juice press. That's a juniper juice press. One of these bad boys, which you can't see. You can kind of see it. That is what we press with. If you want to see, there's a video linked above uh, that I kind of go through the a review ish of that because I have it. So I thought it would make sense to go through it. It works pretty well, especially for our juices because uh, a lot of times, like with a hand squeeze, you don't get a lot of juice out of those things and it takes forever yeah. and it's messy and... And sometimes it shoots up yeah. and goes like And this thing's great because it's got a little wall so it doesn't really shoot It's still, anymore. I've still got it, it still to will, shoot yeah. out. But depends it, how it breaks, but... Yeah, yeah. It, sometimes it'll just go out of every angle. Yeah, sometimes. But, doesn't taste like a college drink, does it? No. Well, it doesn't look like one because it looks... Like a screwdriver. It looks like a restaurant drink because of the Cheetos. <laughs> Yes! Because it's got a rim. You don't get rims on college drinks. No? Oh, that's, yeah, that's way too much work. Mm. College kids don't It's going to take a lot better rim than it is to drink most college drinks. Yeah. And I didn't want to go with a shooter because I thought that was kind of done. And yeah. we don't really do Plus, a lot of shooters. And you know, Madonna's in a whole bunch of stuff for implying. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, did you see the teacher who was spraying a water bottle at his, at his video? <laughs> no. There was some art teacher. Like it was a some, cat? 
Yeah, so she had like a spray bottle of water and she's in her classroom and Trump is being projected on the wall and she's like spraying like, die, 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 like she's shooting him. <laughs> And she oh, took a video of this. You so she's careful. on administrative leave right now. Yeah. I was going to say, like, you can, that was okay. I mean, it's to funny do because it's stupid to do that. Right. right. I mean, but it, it's funny because it was supposed to be stupid. Mm -hmm. But you watch the, um, if you're president, you can't do stuff like that yeah. once that happens. The bad lip sync? Of no, the I didn't see that. You guys need to watch Bad Lip Syncs, uh, Bad Lip Syncing's channel. Um, on the presidential inauguration, it was it was really well done, like funny, but not as they do pretty well. Funny know. as their other stuff, like not not yeah. funny in the same way as their other stuff, where it's just random yeah. words. It almost fits like a conversation. Oh, it was a water pistol. Sorry, Stokey, I thought it was water a pistol's ball, probably actually worse. Yeah, because it looks it like more a like a gun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that, my friends, is Trump. Trump's impeachment cocktail. Celebrate at home. I know that 51% of you are, are going to love this cocktail. Popular vote wins. Have a good drink, Stanley. Have a good night. Riven said he'd drink it every day if only it would make it so. <laughs> <laughs> and, and no, this doesn't mean anything about the way I voted. I didn't vote for Trump, but I wanted to do it for both views, humor, and we, did, it, we just don't do enough crazy views. stuff. It's yeah. really, yeah. view. If, if you're watching for the first time, I succeeded. <laughs> and I made a cocktail that's legit and tastes like a cocktail, not just a big mess in it. And this is probably place. one of the few times we've done something that's political related. First time ever. Yeah. I so, never do anything political related because not, I was like... Not I geared towards our affiliations. No, because I don't against, need people... Yeah. You guys, if you want to yell and get crazy in the comments for this one, as long as you're respectful, <laughs> I don't care. Because it, it fits the mood. I've never done politics because it, I don't it's know. It's divisive. I, yes. At and the same time... Audience. If it brings in money and views, you mm -hmm. gotta like look at it. As long as you're not doing it cheaply, like just to get, I made a cocktail. Now to balance it out, we have to do like a Hillary for president one, right? Um, I don't <laughs> want that either. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's a little late. Maybe right. next time. Next time. We yeah. have four years to think about. No, the no, yeah, ones. totally, yeah. So we'll, we'll be working <laughs> on that. You gotta one. Pull in both sides of the. Yeah. The group, yeah. You're wearing your big boy shirt. I, I, I'll give her him. That's <laughs> from the lip syncing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she says that to... Yeah. I don't give a mitt. All right. We're good? I'm going to eat my eat garnish. Your, eat your garnish. Subscribe to the show. It's below. Watch these two videos over here. If you're into easy vodka cocktails, check out The Craft Cocktail. YouTube.com slash The Craft Cocktail. Get the book. Homecocktailmenu.com. Yeah. Oh. Teach you how to drink. I'm leaving. <laughs> Do you like Trump and have a sense of humor? <laughs> Do you not like Trump? Either way, watch the video. Have some fun with it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Derek's just eating an orange and dying in the background. <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah. So I, <laughs> I saw this recipe at work and I told her about it and she was, she's, she's so Courtney and her whole family are very, uh, yes, very, Trump. very you think? Trump sided. So she, I would have never <laughs> I'm like, Trump -sided. I showed her the one side, the, the Facebook post, and she's like, not funny. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Fucking Very hilarious. <laughs> if by not being hilarious. Look at this. Two they're almost the same. Cocktails. Yeah, they're a little stale. But But they're still cheesy. Yeah. Oh, they make a weird combination. What's that? It is definitely with the Cheetos. <laughs> With, oh, with, with the drink. <laughs> if, if I can enrage just a few people, then I've done my job. You gotta get those dislikes out there. I gotta. No, you, it's and you, bitter. You just don't taste bitter. Yeah, it must. Yeah, I didn't get any bitter out of that. Must and, be. And the finish is bitter. Is it? Yeah. I got all sweet. Not like extremely bitter, but it's bitter. Yeah, no, it's not. Okay. I'm like, which one's which? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never any know. other peach schnapps ones? Ah, uh, no. There for a Me? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, how about I'm gonna just shellax right it here? It smells like um, brown licorice. Uh, brown. <laughs> brown licorice is awesome. Brown sugar. I smelled the Galliano as I said that. So. I wonder if I let's see. Uh, did I get the other one? Yeah. Bernie 2016. She does really stick on them. Don't they? they do. Well, they do because we left them on there to grow. It's a Negroni, dude. You know how to make one of these? Oh, yeah. Beef feeder. Uh, do you have only the big bottle of beef feeder? <laughs> you guders? guys are the coolest old guys on YouTube. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Wait. 
I take. Yeah, that's true. Ian's yeah. still in his thirties. Derek's not. Huh? <laughs> not for long. Did you ditch the big beef feeder somewhere? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna use some special sweet vermouth. This yeah. is sweet vermouth, right? I hope so. It's just Rosso. C. Oh wait, I, now I figured out what's missing in the CMC thing that we took off for the other show. Uh, so we're gonna use a lowball, I'm guessing. These are yeah. And oh, okay. old fashioned oh, glass. Them. FYI. Uh, <laughs> FYI. Come far and not off to a good start. Love the Negroni, man. Negroni hearts. Oh, admins show up in blue now? Is that what's going on? Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, I have like yeah. a crown, admins are in blue, and I can add admins on the side thing, which I oh, couldn't do. Oh, it shows before. pictures of whoever has a picture. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, they recently, they're working on Super Chat. Which is going to give uh, donations in stream now, rather than having to go to the gaming side to do it. They're, but they're removing fan funding completely, and they're just going to do it basically for live streaming. Like the whole, the fan funding right now, you know how they donate. You, you guys, can. You want any of these? No, you can. Okay. You can. You can have it slide across, or they could donate on the main page. It's a little donate button. Uh, they're getting rid of all that, and they're just going to have it for live stream. <laughs> Is this something good? The growing, it's awesome. <laughs> no, I'm no, not. No, no, we know that's no Whoa, good. Whoa, that's bitter. <laughs> what, the... The vermouth? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, dude. It is. I got a little bit of history on this one. So I've got 39 likes so far in my... Uh, Stream? No. Oh, your Instagram? Yeah, it's this one's nice and easy. Don't even do it. You make it right in the cup. 37. Huh? Yeah, it's a little better, I guess. Add old fashioned glass and fill with ice. Stir. Do we do clear ice for this or? Um, we can if you want, but it's not uh, tempered. It's just temper it, yeah. I don't think it matters. You all set? Yeah. Well, when we do it on, when we when we do it for the other show, we'll. we'll yeah, we'll, we'll be said. smarter. Well, not smarter. We'll prepare differently. You'll learn. We'll call it preparing differently. Yeah. Why? I got one fruit fly in here. Yeah, you still moment. got one fruit fly. <laughs> yeah, you're not Sorry. You have reflexes like a cat, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> cat lying on his back. <laughs> Aaron Turner. I didn't bold this one either. Ready? Oh, oh yeah. It's you're just a big fan of the show. Just check the mic. Yeah. yeah, everybody's like, oh, God! Testy. Nice. <laughs> you guys get that? <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Welcome to Call Man Cocktails. I'm Derek. That's Ian. You are watching one of the best shows on YouTube right now. Why? Because we're teaching you how to utilize the ingredients you have, teaching you what ingredients you should get, getting those flavors in your mouth, right in the mouth hole to see what they taste like and if there's something you should be drinking. Like this drink, which I think you should be drinking and he doesn't. I agree. This is my go-to drink, the, the Negroni. And, and I haven't done it for a long time, like but, since probably around 2010 again. And we've made them during the middle of the stream sometimes. Yep. I made an Oak Age one for your try. Yep. We've done an Americano. But I was like going through, like it's we never did this with the bar scene and everything. Yeah, we got So it we're doing it with the bar scene and everything. This, this is a super simple drink. It's equal parts. Campari, gin, London Dry specifically, and sweet vermouth. Seems Done. simple. Put it in a glass over ice, stir it up, get it cold, that's it. So you're going to do that? Big I'm work? Do that. And you can talk about history. All right, well, first Tell us off, about this drink. executive producer is Aaron Turner. If you want to be an executive producer, just like the URL over here says, you go to patreon.com slash CMC. Um, also, you can subscribe to the show. That's completely free. Click the subscribe button. Would love you to do that. This history starts around 1919, from what I could find in Florence, Italy. Uh, it's the, the lore says that uh, it was born when an Italian bartender responded to the customer request for a strong version of Americano, which is oh, which, which I thought was first. the reverse, right? I thought the Americano was a weak version of this. Um, and, well, it is. It's yeah. just which came first. Well, this drink was requested. A strong version of Americano was requested by somebody known as Count Camillo. Negroni. Oh. So, 
Interesting. It, the name fits. It does. I don't have a cocktail named the Schomer. Not yet. You have to Somebody. Make your own. Yeah, I know. That's if I have to make my own, then it doesn't, dang, count. It doesn't work. Doesn't count. Uh, Gary Regan did a lot of work. If you if you ever had Regan's bitters. Uh, yep. Gary Regan is a kind of a historical uh, type of guy, sort of like um, Woodridge. Yes. Yep. And his research uh, says that this also appears about 300% more now than it even did 10 years ago. It what? At a bar on a menu. You'll see oh, this 300% more times. Three, ta three times more, as much? Yeah. It's, it's highly requested now. And this is a, uh, it's been brought back to life. It's a hipster the, drink. Yeah, by the hipster community because they kind of revitalized it because no one liked us so they figured they had to. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a good thing. I mean, it's a good drink. You've so, been called the hipster for ordering this, have you not? I have, and I am not a hipster. Not even close. Don't do what he just did at work. Uh, I'm going to wash that spoon. I'm not going to stir again. Uh, I'm just, I, I know somebody right now is like, he job. just licked the spoon. And I want to acknowledge it and be like, yeah, because he's not at work. Yeah. He's here. This is a home bar. This is a home bar. It, not well, my home, but anyway. well, <laughs> well, it might look like a a more professional scene. This is just us being us. Yeah. Oh, and the vermouth, the sweet vermouth. Oh, yeah. This is Drapo. Uh, they, I believe, are in vermouth or wherever it was vermouth made. Wherever that is. I don't know. I should know this, but I don't know. Yeah, you, if yeah, you're yeah, making you're this, there's only three bag. ingredients. Should, yeah. Encyclopedia. So should I do this one first? Yeah, because I know that, I like it. Is that how you do your peels? Uh, usually I just stuff them in there. You even do the peel? Sometimes. Because you're not using the orange for anything else. No, but it does add to it. So, so do you make enough you know cocktails? You don't, you don't like the... Uh... But do you make enough cocktails to use <laughs> the entire <laughs> orange? Uh, or do you if, reuse if the I same If I have garnish? an orange... Question of the day, do you reuse your garnishes? I would say you shouldn't because every garnish is going to bring in the fresh juice. So the juice in that orange is going to be slightly dissipated from that drink. If you use it again, that's even less juice to get dis to dissipate into the dr your next drink. So don't reuse your garnishes. Plus I eat them when I'm done. Yeah, eat your garnishes. Hmm. You don't want to get scurvy. That's right. I always, I always reuse them when I'm so lazy. Yeah. Unless it's a spent lime, <laughs> then I'll, I'll spend another you lime. You make garnishes. No, if I, like, if I make a drink, I won't make another one. I'll just, like even a rum and coke, if it has a lime in it, I'm like, whatever. Unless I'm making it cool so He says it's made in Vermouth, Kansas. <laughs> oh, Vermouth, Kansas. That I didn't know. I thought it was Italy. <laughs> or something. I like this. It's a... Uh, very bitter because of the Campari. If you haven't had Campari, it's got a bitterness. A bitterness to it. It's strong because of the gin. So I don't get strength at all. Maybe because I'm just so hung up on all? this. This no. is all alcohol. There's it's I like know. a martini. There's no non-alcohol in here. Yeah, but you see, the thing is that the yeah, oh look, orange. the Campari is right on here. Yeah, uh, and it's easy one on one. You can never yeah. get wrong with that. That's what's great about this drink. It's so easy to remember. The, the no, it's just that the bitterness is so present. I mean, this is that 24% is... alcohol, this is 16% alcohol, and that's 40. So add them up, divide by three, and that's your the strength it's of that. It's heavy. No, but I don't get, it's just distracting. Like, I get the I get the bitterness, mm -hmm. so I'm not paying attention. It's like texting and driving. This is 26% alcohol, about. So I did all that talking, and he's not listening. He's just doing math. I'm doing math, math in my head, yeah. <laughs> Say again? Sorry, sorry. It's like texting and driving. What is? This drink. You. <laughs> because it's just because you're not paying attention. This is oh, so okay. just no, no. It's because this is so distracting. I don't taste that or this. Really? I don't. Ta okay, I, I taste say, them, but I don't taste yeah. the alcohol ethanol flavor. I was gonna say if you have a favorite gin that you like the taste of, you might want to try that in here first, and then maybe you can start playing with different gins in here because they may play differently. I drink a lot of beef eater, mm. so I don't know if I can taste it anymore. That I think be. I'm immune to it. You might be immune. Yeah. Now. The irony being is I didn't I refused to even go near a bottle of beef eater for almost eight years. Right. It's like Tangeray. Yeah. No, I yeah. <laughs> yeah, except for I still like this better. And Tangeray is not nearly as bad after we did that blind tasting. I'll put the I'm gonna see if I can remember to put the blind tasting that we did that had Tangeray in it, because that was kind of surprising. But hmm. the drink's better. <laughs> but it's growing on me. Like I'm not I used to just gag and be like all oh, yeah. kind of weird. It grows on you. Now I can drink it, but I still wouldn't order one. No, I know you wouldn't. I wouldn't, but I know you wouldn't. It, you will someday. <laughs> Just wait. It's like red wine. It's an old man drink. You're going to get old at some point. I'm older than you. It, it's like red wine. You you don't necessarily, you're not born liking it. 
no. work into it. Remember we used to buy, me and Luke in college, we would buy bottles of Merlot and Cabernet and we didn't like it. You remember that? It might no. not have been a very significant... I remember Boone's Farm and Wild Vines. No, that was different. That was awesome. <laughs> no, but we, we would buy... It was probably not significant to you because it was only something that me and Luke really did, but we'd buy bottles of red wine, like $9, $10 bottles, because we wanted to learn how to drink wine. And it was the hardest thing, but by the fourth bottle, not all at once... But like over the course of a few weeks, uh, after four bottles, you're like, hey, <laughs> like, ah! four bottles of booze farm. You're like, this stuff is awesome. crap in your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but I actually watched John, well, our other roommate, drink a half a bottle more, no, a whole bottle, no, both of us together. I drank half, he drank half. Then he went and played basketball and was like jumping up because he was tall and grabbing the hoop that was next door. Goes right to your head. Then he was like, Psh. I remember drinking a box of wine in college. Yeah. Like a whole, by myself. That's the second question. What trying was, to do things. What 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 was the low? What was your lowest point? Like what were you drinking? You're like, oh, this is what I did. Jim Beam. Jim Beam. Yeah. Jim just Jim Beam straight. Yeah, like oh, most of a handle. I I used to drink fire water. Uh, it was always on my desk. Oh, yeah. I would just take bottle. Yeah. yeah, it lasts forever. So I didn't drink it very well. I, I was a sucky drinker when it came to that stuff. You're professional before your time. Yeah. So there, that that is that is the beauty of the Negroni. Try one if you don't own Campari. Just open this, brand new, because we brand went through another bottle only took eight years. This is a drink you wore at the bar to see if you like it before you. Yes, because you, it's very very hard to screw this drink up. Yeah. Like one one one. And it's polarizing. People either like this or they don't like this. It's kind of like so Trump. Don't go in for all this stuff if you don't know you like it. Right. It's polarizing. I think that's why drink uh, bars are great. Like, yeah. well, that's I, love, I love to get new drinks, good drinks made by good bartenders, but it's also great for tasting stuff that you don't know if you like. Right. It's it's the cheapest. It's like a shareware. Yeah, if you like buy a $10 Negroni at the bar, that's better than buying a $20 bottle of gin, a $25 bottle of Campari. $25 bottle of gin. Well, that's a big one. Yeah. Actually, it's probably more than that. It's it's, it's not a cheap gin, but you're you're in it for 50 yeah. bucks. You're in it for 50 bucks. And you have a vermouth that if you don't like anything else with vermouth, you have a bottle of vermouth that's going to go bad. Right. Which you could sip like sherry if you like. But yeah. Bad. You sell on eBay. Don't do that. That's bad advice. Yeah, illegal. Yeah. Drink responsibly and don't do stupid stuff. <laughs> Subscribe right down here. There's two videos over here. A couple fly above our heads every now and then. You can click on those if you want to continue the adventure. Check out the craft cocktail. Well, choose your own adventure. Yeah. Choose your own cocktail adventure. YouTube.com slash the craft cocktail. That's an adventure that will continue. It's it's always got something new coming out. Always. Always. We're teaching you how to drink. Oh yeah, live, uh, what do you call it? Uh, intro. Intro. Today we're making my favorite drink. This is vermouth. Take a guess at what it is. It's red. <laughs> oh, now the recipe's on the other side. She cut it long before that. I see. <laughs> <laughs> she cut it when you stopped talking. Boom! Firewater was my 20th drink of choice. <laughs> Firewater? That's it, uh... Oh. I probably still have my original Firewire bottle. Fire, fire water bottle. I think I did get rid of it. Slap the bag? Hmm? Like this? Oh! Yeah, just like that. <laughs> you guys got slap the bag. Am I too old to get that? Is that what's going on? Maybe. Maybe it's like a space bag. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what I have. Right on. Oh, there's more. There you go. You can have some stale, stale Cheetos. Nah. Oh, these, are less, these are less stale than the crumbs are. <laughs> yeah, because the crumbs were left open, so the air got at the crumbs. Mm. I gotta get. It's like ice melt. More surface area, more stillness. Ice melt? Yes. To eat ice, he eats ice melt. <laughs> <laughs> and you like it stale? Well, no, I like saw. when you're melting ice, the more surface area you have, the faster it melts. Uh, I thought you meant it's ice science. melts a brand. Of salt? Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> and you're oh, eating it. Like ice melt in your drink. <laughs> Did he put up the next one? Oh, good. He did. Before he ah. left. He's thinking ahead. He never does that. All right, we got to use Kahlua instead of... Uh, I love the rumps and stuff, That's but sometime, fine. sometimes you need the sweetness from Kahlua. Yeah, for the white rum. Gross. Hmm? He's like, hey, Dad, you want to feel the life of a gamer? And he walks over and touches you with his sweaty hands. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I remember those days. <laughs> no, I've never had sweaty hands. We were robbed it. You never had no oh, Rob. Yeah, he was so Rob. Long. Rob would he would corrode. What are you looking Where's for? Where's your regular cooler? Somewhere. You want to use regular oh, cooler? Right in front of me. Yes. 
I, li I like uh, the sweetness of cream. Yeah. So you okay with half and a half? Yeah. I have heavy cream, but this is fine. Yeah, that's fine. I was, I was saying before, when you were up there, I like Rumson's, but sometimes you just need that sugariness. Did you want to dust it with an optional nutmeg? <laughs> I like it. Yeah, me too. No, let's yeah. dust. Let's dust the shit out of it. Okay. Oh, you slapped the bag after taking a pull from the bag you took out of a box of wine. Oh, huh. Yeah, no, this was 20 years ago. I didn't know about that. <laughs> they didn't do that 20 years ago. They didn't right. have bags 20 years ago. Back in my day. Back in our day. All right, we need another little ball. I remember when Zima and a splash of grenadine was popular in bars. <laughs> a splash of grenadine. Dude, that's taking gay that sounds like and making movie. another gay person on top of it. Zima's 80s, grenadine. Sweetness is 80s. It's like a, the worst. It's like the worst. Hangover waiting. No, that, what's that drink that has grenadine? Shirley Temple? Oh. <laughs> A-W-E-S-O-M-E. We're awesome, we're awesome. Kotoli. Totally. Burr-me. Burr-me. <clears throat> White Russian girl on the agenda. <clears throat> really? Yeah. That was all, all I had. You're all done. You're all, all done for now. Are you all done for now? Is this camera got any value to it this week? I don't know if he's been pouring over there or what. I, don't know. I haven't been watching him. He knows how to do things. Is that in the middle? He needs to be left alone by himself now. I'm a grown. I'm a grown man. He's a Negroni. I'm a Negron man. See what I'm doing? So I'm trying to help get rid of that virus. The virus? Oh, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> by, by drying that off, that's going to get rid of a virus? <laughs> he's still in this. Pretty good amount of virus. Thing. I know, because it's an Erlenmeyer. But this is a two two ounce drink, so. <coughs> and and when I say get rid of it, it's because I don't like the bottle design. No, I know. It's the a bottle, good vodka. It's a, it's a cool design. It yeah, just doesn't. It just doesn't there. work here. It, this is not a. This is a problem for bars. Yeah. Oh, that? Yeah. So we got. I think. Vodka Kahlua. Yeah, we just mix the vodka Kahlua and then yeah. yeah. Oh, there's Chester. We know what's called the White Russian, right? And we don't need ice in there, it's just... Oh yeah, well, you don't do ice in there, I never noticed. We're gonna float, Shake huh? Let me get this. Float cream on top. Yeah, do you not add ice to... I don't... I don't even know. You Is really it... have ice on the white version? Do the white version have ice? No. I don't know. I think you can make it either way, but I don't know. I don't I don't know, because you don't want the milk to... Dil you don't want that creaminess to get diluted, maybe? Here, ask the chair. I'm sure some people put ice and some people don't. I can see the value of not putting ice. That has ice in it. Oh, we're going to Kahlua. Are you sh you're shaking it? Yeah. yeah. So you're getting the dilution. And you're getting the uh, And I guess it gets. won't, yeah, so maybe it won't dilute as much as it's cold already. Someone says it doesn't matter. Oh, I can't my mouse move. Let's see. It has ice. Yeah. Shake it to an ice filled glass. All right, nice it is. <laughs> That's all you had to do is just take the lid off. Yep, now, oh. we're, now we're ready. <laughs> oh, I need a, I, I, what happened? Oh, you put it over there. What? That. Yes. Kyle says you want if some? shakes it, no, no ice. No, no. What? Kyle says if see, he shakes it, no ice. See, that's what I'm saying, because you no, get the dilution says, already. You don't want more. He puts, like, he's always seen them with ice in them. I Difference think I've always both. seen them with ice in them, too. Difference has both. Yeah. So I'm wondering, like, if you just throw it in the glass and stir it together, that's when you put the ice in. No. You st that recipe that I just showed that had ice is a shaken mm -hmm. version. I know, because right. I took that technique from them. I don't know what's right and what's wrong. What's hey, well, well, that'll be our question. Right? We have to go to the IBA, right? Because it's a classic cocktail, isn't it? I don't know. Um, I started the camera. All right, fine, we whatever. We have one battery, like... What? Really? On that one. Well, Ian's going to figure it out, I guess. I don't know what he's doing. Oh. Ready? Yeah. Welcome to Comment Cocktails. I'm Derek. That's Ian. You are now at the best channel on the internet. And we're making one of the greatest drinks. Greatest drinks. This drink is called the White Russian. It's also white. known as a Caucasian, if you're a Big Lebowski fan. A Caucasian? Yeah. Are you a big bottle of the big that's an old movie, though. At this That's point. a great it, movie. It's still great. It holds up. Lebowski? Okay, are you a fan? It's Write it below. Piece. Right next to where you hit the thumbs up. This cocktail, executive producer, will be after this. First, we're going to do two ounces of vodka. 
one ounce of coffee liqueur. In that case, we're using Kahlua because it's kind of like the mainstay, like the what everybody thinks of for white Russians. Ounce of uh, half and half, whatever type of cream you like. I'm going to go with the half and half because it's healthier. And a dust of nutmeg, which is optional. It just makes this drink go from like something you did in your dorm to something you can get at a craft bar. Yeah. Question just of the day. That. Question of the day. Do you put ice in your white Russian? Do you put ice in your white Russian? Do we you, had this debate prior. Do you build in glass? Do you shake and strain? Right. And do you add ice? Where's your ice come in? We're going we're gonna to shake and strain this and pour it over ice. And then we're going to layer the cream on top. So what Ian's doing... So executive producer is Nicholas Giordano, by the way. What Ian's going to do here is he's just going to build all of them, all those two main ingredients, right in the shaker tin. Give it a nice 10 second shake, chill it up, then we'll put it into the cocktail glass. Huh? Hey, we're chilling and diluting it. Yeah. yeah. You're diluting it down. What, why rush is goozy? Because this can be pretty strong. No, but you, the, it, yeah. the trick is we're going to float the cream on top so it's going to look sexier. That's, 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 you can't stir it because the cream is going to integrate. We could stir it because there's no syrup. Yeah, but the then your ice is half gone. You want fresh ice, right? I mean, what do you guys think? Give us your white Russian tips below. I'm guessing there's a bunch of different ways to do this yeah. and they all taste excellent. You yeah, want it's on a, You want to dust, oh, we want to cream it first. We do want to cream it. Um, so you're going to shake your Kahlua, you're going to shake your vodka, then you're going to float cream on top, grate with nutmeg. There's dozens of proportions and methods and variations to this cocktail. Like, the, we're already talking just about ice. Now, you've got all the different ratios that you can go with this. I'm sure we were discussing it might be even, even an IBA cocktail. What? Great. Um, ah, what are you doing? Just do you just, right. just dump it in there. It'll, it'll yeah, float. I was trying to float it uh, nicely. So what we're doing is we're just by shaking it, we're bringing in some of the dilution early so it doesn't dilute into the glass. It also brings out some of the more flavor of the Kahlua and the vodka by adding the dilution. It also makes it a little bit less boozy. Hey, it's sinking, not floating. Yeah, well, we got half and half instead of cream, so what do you want? Oh, that's probably the truth. I don't, I don't really know what the right answer to that is. Oh, so they have this different fat content. Yeah, this is the uh, this is a suggestion I saw on Differs Guide, which is to to add a little bit. Fat fat should rise above alcohol, right? I don't know. That should have a low specific gravity usually. I thought. I don't. I don't really know. It's not gonna make. It's having too much fun grating that. Boom! White Russian. There you have it. See, with my white Russians, I've always mixed them up before. So I'll do something like that, and I'll stir it, and I'll make it all blend in. Yeah. Yeah. That's we, usually we, how I do it. But stuff. this gives it to the person so it looks good, and then they can do the you stir. They can do as they want. Do yeah. you want some stir? Yeah, sure. So this was first seen in uh, 1965 in the Boston Globe, so I've heard. Um, I found a couple of different magazines that said mm -hmm. they were the first to be the one The straw was yummy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. It's a great drink. It is an awesome drink. Yeah, but the aroma that comes off that from the nutmeg, nutmeg is mm. fantastic. This is actually a riff off the Black Russian. The Black Russian came first. The White Russian was a predecessor. The Black Russian came out in uh, 1949. This drink came out in 1965. That's 20 years difference. Uh, the Black Russian was done by Gustav Topps, a hotel bartender in Brussels. This was in a newspaper, and so who knows who actually came up with it at this point. I'm sure some people cl claim it. And... Oh, I'm sure there's dozens of people claim it. Yeah. So there's I'm... probably more people claiming it Jimmy. than there are <laughs> ratios. <laughs> I was alive back then. Yeah, I'm sure. That's Which a great one? drink. This is like one of those drinks that you, you can enjoy in college, you can enjoy after college. Yeah. And not and feel enjoy... like pretentious. No, because it's, it's so simple and basic, but just it's a great delicious cream drink. Simple it's, and basic. It's the classic cream drink in my mind. Yeah. I mean, I know you love cream drinks. I do love cream drinks, yeah. You're, you're a big fan of the cream. I love the cream. <laughs> um, you can use... I've seen, like, my, my uncle, I think, uses heavy cream. Yeah. Um, you definitely get a thicker consistency. You get a different mouthfeel, yeah. Jack said 2%, they like it with 2% milk. 2% so even lighter. Like, like, that's, yeah. that's like chocolate milk, really. Yeah. No, it's actually coffee chocolate milk, milk right there. It's coffee yeah, milk. Coffee. <laughs> Which is what it is. It's you like know, coffee milk. Whatever you use, if you're using Clue and Vodka... It's going to taste very similar. It's just going to have a different mouthfeel with a different yeah. fat content and a different milk yeah. and cream. And it's going to sit on your your tongue. And mm. it, it will also, because you got that fat content, the vodka's not going to really come out. This would be a great drink if you're eating hot wings. 
So I'm going to dull the pain a little bit. You're sitting at Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm up, we're up to the last, second to last at Buffalo Yeah, Wild Wings. Liam and we're at the hot. Yeah. I like the mango wild. habanero. That's, yeah, I found mango habanero to be hotter than wild. Oh, really? I like the, I like the flavor of the mango habanero. Yes, so do I. The, the wild flavor, is good, But too. he likes wild flavor. Yeah, yeah, my dad good. likes the wild. I had one. It was yeah. pretty good. Oh, yeah. I like the flavor. The next one after it, whatever it's called, Blazing. Blazin'? I, I That's hear our challenge. Just... If you can eat six in like five minutes or something like that, you get a t-shirt. Oh, Dude, really? Come on. I could eat six in two minutes. They're, they're tiny. Yeah, but they're hot. All right. You're right, but the faster you eat them, you don't. It takes like thirty seconds just to start to feel the pain. Right. That's two wings by then. By a minute in, you're done. <laughs> that you just deal with the repercussions like twenty four hours later. I would like to try those someday. Yeah, I'm gonna do well, it. it. Liam's gonna do it. So when we go, we'll yeah. tie you up. All right. Let let me we're, go. So we're gonna get the mango. We're gonna get the wild, and we're gonna get the the blazing. Nice. In the one. In the one. There's another flavor you could throw in there. Yeah. Throw, like oh, okay. Asian zing or whatever. It is. Good place. If you ever been to Buffalo Wild Wings, it's a pretty good yeah. place. My dad um, goes every Tuesday with uh, my uncle and uh, really? random other people that they know. <laughs> random other people. Well, not random people, but like people they've worked with. They just meet them on the street. They're like, "Hey, go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Come on." <laughs> Answer me this, people. Besides all the questions I've asked, yeah, what is your thing. favorite? What is your favorite chain restaurant that you almost are embarrassed to admit? Maybe it's Wendy's. Maybe it's BK. McDonald's or whatever. Ian's not gonna answer. <laughs> There's gotta be I one. I like Dairy Queen too. Their cheeseburger's pretty good. Yeah. See, mm. where is it that you go that you don't like to admit it because you're like, I don't want to. I'm not. I don't want to feed into that American stereotype. Even if you're in Europe, you know. Yeah. You guys, you guys have McDonald's there. I know you do. <laughs> With your own. Uh, film yeah. the blazing on location shoot. <laughs> yeah, I think we'd have to ask Royals for permission. With cheese. Yeah, there'd yeah. be some corporate involvement. Yeah. Yeah. So go make yourself an easy vodka cocktail known as the White Russian. Then you're going to click a link here. You're going to subscribe to the show. You're going to click one of those videos over there. Keep watching. If those videos don't suit you, go to youtube.com slash the craft cocktail. Yes. And you can uh, watch us make the screwdriver and a whole bunch of other easy vodka drinks hmm. moving up into the future. Oh, Taco Bell. I like Taco, Taco Bell. Mexi Mouse, yo! Mexi Mouse! Mexi Mouse are awesome! We're out of time. We're teaching you how to drink. Go get yourself a Mexi Mouse. All right, you gotta bump into me for this. On purpose? Yeah. You, I, what? You, it's a it's a big Lebowski thing. Forever. forever. Just you, you just gotta be bump, bumping into oh. me or something. All right, right, ready? Yeah. Easy, man. There's a beverage here. <laughs> it's a white Russian. Stay tuned. <laughs> 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 The best five part guys. is I had no idea what he was going to do. I've never been to a Five Guys. Five Guys. There's one right either. next to Moe's. I know, but I've never been. I've never been either. I've been. I just say I don't know where one is. I've only been one in the airport. That looks Not like even. a lot more, doesn't Close. it? Close. Not even. Close. That does look like a lot more when you do that. Um, I didn't want to mention the... Does this come from over there or over here? It goes over there. Why is it when the camera runs out of battery, it doesn't show up? Is that out of battery? Because it doesn't know how. I have more batteries. I know, we're going to need them. Let me get this drink lined up. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay, I was wrong. We do need peach knobs. <laughs> Can you shut that other camera off, too, please, while you're opening it? Oh, I'm going to need a battery, too. Well, well. Woo, woo, woo. You're doing the woo? No, we did oh. that on the other show, uh -huh. though. Yeah. I thought you already did that. Oh, no. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Oh, many, many moons. I wish I could stop dropping these. I'll do it. <laughs> you have that control. Sometimes wishes don't come true. Like, I could go for Buffalo Wild Wings right now. Mm. Mm. I go for Buffalo Wild Wings any day. Ian's like, alright, let's go. Stop the show. I went twice in a row in Maine. Because I went Tuesday with my dad and my uncle. And we actually ran into my my uh, cousin, my, my cousin by marriage, and mm -hmm. their, their kid, and uh, my, my uncle's grandkid and daughter in law. And then uh, I went the day before with Dr. Plummer. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Your stomach can two days in a row. Oh, I can. Well, oh, with Dr. I can. Dr. Plummer doesn't really like the spicy stuff, so uh, we got some, got, like, we got some tame wings. They have some good yeah. flavors. They do. Even their dry buffalo isn't too bad. It's, it's not, not my favorite. Spicy. No, it's not. It's not that spicy. It's not my favorite, but I it's tried not bad. the hottest. Is that not the hottest one? Whatever the yeah, hottest one is. The desert hottest. heat. The desert heat. Was that hot? Yeah, desert, desert heat. heat. No, desert heat. No. I did. I couldn't even figure out which one it was. I had to look in the little corner on the sticker. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, this is supposed to be hot. Their Caribbean jerk is pretty good. 
Oh, yeah. I love the Caribbean beer. Oh, uh, Liam doesn't like that one. Their garlic was a little too garlicky for me. Though. Oh, I like the, the Parmesan garlic. Yeah, that was uh, good. I like that. That was good. The Caribbean jerk I really liked. I like allspice and clove and all yeah. that. I love, I love jerk season. Yeah. In general. Yeah. Anytime you throw that on the chicken, you're, you're winning. Yes. Yeah. I only get the, I get the um, boneless ones, though, because yeah. I don't do wings. Oh, okay. The only problem I had with the Caribbean jerk is it didn't fit the flavor profile of everything on the table. Taco Bell will be the only restaurant in the future. What movie is that from? Uh, Idiocracy had Carl's Jr. No, no. Taco um, Bell had... Starts with a D. Demolition, Demolition Man? Demolition Man. The only reason I know is I worked there when that movie came out, and everything was Demolition Man. Because <laughs> they sponsored the shit out of that movie. Oh, no doubt. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's Love the taco. Jesus, what are we making? <laughs> Death by sex. I bought these, and I don't know what the difference is. So I want to try them. What? Huh? This is Ocean Spray 100% juice, no sugar added. And I was like, well, then what the hell is regular Ocean Spray? 27% juice. But there's... It's like 27% juice in there? It says no sugar added. They added two grams. Or three. What do you mean added? It probably has... It's a fruit. It has sugar anyway. No, I know, but... This one, which doesn't say no sugar added, presumably means they do add sugar. Three grams. This one has 32 grams. This one has 35. Oh. Who cares? The thing that's weird, this one has 20 milligrams of sodium, the 100% the juice one, and this one only has 5%, or 5 milligrams. Mm -hmm. There's two ounces in there, right? We're not filming at the moment, Liam. Come on down. You hear? Cram Hold on, hold on. I'm on my game, I got... Stuck on the other oh. side of the bridge, and I need a hundred dollars to. Um, you shaved your head. Yeah. <laughs> I need a hundred dollars to get to for him to lower the bridge. Uh, I don't understand. What game are you playing? I only have twenty-three dollars. Sounds like you need more money, Bubba. I can't get it, so I'm stuck on that side. What are you, what are you oh, playing? Oh, you're stuck on that forever. What, what you can't you get money. I have no idea. What game? What game? What game? What game? What game? What game? Why can't you get money? Cane or beet okay. sugar? There's they don't no tell you which. Money. There's one of those two. Like, there's no... The weird there's thing is... No, you should have got money before you went over. This one has... Cranberry juice, day. grapefruit juice... Or cranberry juice, grape juice, apple juice, pear oh, juice. Oh, this is a build-over ice. Wow. Yeah, because it's like a long iced tea, Oops. right? Ow! Oh, don't let you touch your sweaty hands. There we go. Does this have oranges in it? That's that's where the oranges no, came from. No, get you have away. a big get ass away. highball glass? No, oh, yeah, I do. Get, get, you rotten kid. No, do you got no. sweaty hands? You got sweaty palms no, of Rob? Go away, rotten kid. Give her a big hug. No, right no, around her, no, right around her no, neck. Go away. Go away, rotten kid. <laughs> go pet your dad's head. I'm encouraging him. You are. You're something. Whoa, geez, a Come on, Cranberry juice. Cranberry oh, juice. Oh, I can buy it. All right. Okay, boy. That's an orange. William, the virus stuff is a vodka brand out of Texas. We're trying to use it up to get rid of it just because the base is so wide it doesn't really fit on the shelves very well. Can you stop? Your hands are so nasty. Get out of here, rotten kid. Okay. See, if you just ignored them, you probably wouldn't do it. Oh, this has less calories. You don't mind. What? Well, I'll take one with less calories. 130, 140. No. Go upstairs. No. Yeah, that's probably calories. three grams of sugar. Yeah. But this one has a juice in it. Oh, 100% juice, 27% juice. Right, but all they did is they added other apple things juice. that aren't grapefruit. I mean, aren't cranberry. Apple yeah. It's apple juice, grape juice. So this seems more natural. This seems more artificial. It's just not really no, all cranberry. Well, this says no sugar added, 100% juice. This says cranberry juice cocktail. Juice. Right. So I want to taste it and we'll figure out which to use. I'm curious as to. All right. 
Door yeah, it's a cool bottle. It's good to uh, good to have for other things, I think. The uh, Erlenmeyer flask. I don't know what other things, but yeah. Just display stuff. You want to display stuff, I guess. Okay. So this one develops stuff on the top. It's just right. old. Sediment. Oh, which one's that? That's the old one. Oh. Yeah, it's because it was lying on its side. Oh, okay. It's just cranberry. I'm ready. Stop. We got ice? Yep. Love it! Loving it! Want some more? Love it. My legs are tired. My legs are freaking killing me. And I only ran a mile. But they were hurting anyway, so. The one that says a juice cocktail is what you'd find in bars or soda guns. That makes sense to me. The one that says. Oh, yeah, I know. But I don't understand why they've created enough. Like, I don't normally have that. Dude, dude, dumb. You're gonna spill one on you. Oh, no, I didn't. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He knows oh. what he's doing. What? Yeah, I don't know what it's made from. I'm pretty sure it's a Texas company, though. The virus. Oh. I know it's a Texas company. Well, we I... just don't know what it's distilled from. If it's weed or if it's Probably corn, corn. Or if it's eyeballs. Mm. That eyeballs. could be, yeah, regenerated eyeballs. Well, legend has it, all of Earth's unique creatures derive from one main source, one main virus that spread and mutated into several strains to bring us vampires, werewolves, zombies, and the like. It's also said. That this virus will one day bring about the apocalypse. After that, yes, thousands of years, zombies. we've captured the essence of this virus to bring you virus vodka. <laughs> Enjoy the six times distilled, gluten free, kosher certified vodka that's made in America. Oh, if it's gluten free, it can't be wheat then. Right? Taste what thousands of years of evolution has become. More. Enjoy virus vodka responsible. There's a lot of story there to tell you that it's just six times distilled. Yeah. Well, everyone's got their story, right? Ivan Ivanovich has their own story with their yeah. different like descendants and all. All right, let's so, do this. Here we go. Welcome to Comic Cocktails. I'm Derek. That's Ian. We are making a cocktail today called Death by Sex. This is a Valentine's Day cocktail. One day before Valentine's Day. The only way this could be more work is if we had to shake and strain this. No. We're just going <laughs> to literally measure out all the ingredients, which I'll talk about in a second, and build in, in the glass, over ice, big, big ass, ass highball glass. You can get those specific glasses at awesomedrinks.com, my store. If you're a CMC fan, you can also do awesomedrinks.com slash CMC to find all the branded stuff that we sell that has Comac cocktails on it. I apologize, the shaker's out of stock. I'm working on that. Um, executive producer for this is John... Sp nope, sorry. Executive producer for this is Danny Morris. This was submitted by John Spice. He actually submitted like a whole crap load of recipes all at the same time, and they all look really good, but I felt like I shouldn't do all of his recipes all at once since everybody yeah. else is submitting stuff too. Yeah, you don't want to play favorites or anything. Right. But I, I, I mean... But if we had, did, it would be with Kyle. Right. Yeah. Kyle's in there too. <laughs> but it had the name. It fit the, the mood. So the ingredients are thus. One half ounce of the following. Vodka. Peach schnapps. Amaretto liqueur. Triple sec. Southern Comfort. Slow gin. Two ounces of fresh squeezed orange juice. Cranberry juice cocktail. That's it. Put a big ass eyeball. Build over ice. Gently stir. Consume. We need, just, we need something to stir gently with. Oh, I got that over here. But you got to tell me which cranberry juice you'd like to All use. Right. So the I bought this today. Cocktail. I bought this. This is called 100% juice, uh, ocean spray, no sugar added cranberry. This one's just your standard ocean spray cranberry juice cocktail. This will be used for everything. This smells better. <laughs> Sound like if I could just run up some stairs, buddy. I only know because that's how I sound when I'm upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one better. The non 100% sugar. Yep. This does, this tastes like apple juice. Seriously. Try it. I've tried them both. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. That one tastes more juicy. Yeah, this tastes this tastes like a juice that you would consume just to consume. Yeah. It's not bitter. It doesn't have the cranberry bite. The cranberry has to be bitter. Right. So the difference be besides the three grams of sugar, which is not going to kill anyone, difference. This is cranberry juice. <laughs> Might kill diabetics. Okay. My bad. <laughs> Sorry, diabetics and people who have other problems with sugar. Maybe you're like hyperactive. Uh, cranberry juice from concentrate. Grapefruit from concentrate. Apple juice from concentrate. Pear juice from concentrate, natural flavors, pectin, absorbic acid. This one just has like cranberry juice and sugar. They wanted to get on the 100, 
percent juice train, so they just threw it. I like the in yeah, but the ingredient that I love the best is cane or beet sugar. Like roll Take the dice. <laughs> we don't know what you're getting. Uh, but it's one of those. I'm here for the juice so reviews. Was cheaper at the time. William said, "Oh, we have a live stream." At once a month, usually at the end of a month or no, the beginning of the we next. we did juice cranberries. It doesn't come out yeah. like a cocktail. Yeah, cranberry not juice. at all. They're juice big cranberries. Big. Nah. 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 It takes a whole bag to get enough to do anything with. Yeah, yeah you don't want to do that. Um, what else? Which is why 100% juice, they add pear, apple. <laughs> right, and they're trying to curb out the, the craziness. Um, so happy Valentine's Day for everybody. I hope you have lots of um, intercourse. Coitus. <laughs> Coitus. Oh, that's what I wanted to use. <laughs> Damn it. Good one, Sheldon. <laughs> uh, it doesn't okay. look bad. It looks a little bit like uh, Coitus. Passion fruity. Looks like what's left in your sheets. <laughs> oh, I think you're doing it wrong. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you have something. I think going. you need some penicillin. <laughs> oh, that's a drink with scotch. And <laughs> what's penicillin got? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't remember that one. It's scotch cocktail. Scotch cocktail. <laughs> it's good, though. It's classic. This smelled good when I was uh, pouring it. Well, it's good. There's nothing bad in here. Peach and Di This is like a Long Island iced tea. This is like a this is like a date rape cocktail. You don't even need the GHB. No, this is why it's a cocktail. The other one's undermining the other badness. Is just a drug. Yeah, the other one's a drug. This is a cocktail. This is a cocktail. It tastes like. This is not a bad use of the slow gin. I don't really get a lot of slow gin in here. Oh, I totally get it. Really? Yeah. Not compared to the Harvey. No. When More so did, than the, uh, the slow comfort school because it's a little. Smell it. Slow comfort. Yeah, it. Smell it and then drink that. Okay. It smells like berries. <laughs> now smell my finger. <laughs> <laughs> I just get. <laughs> now I'm getting a lot of southern comfort and peaches in here. Oh, I get. I, I get everything else. I get the amaretto. I don't get any vodka. <laughs> really? No. A vodka is silly in this drink. It's there just so there's a core distilled spirit, but it really doesn't. To add alcohol. Yeah, that, none of those are really that makes this count as a vodka drink. Yeah. This is a uh, this isn't a weed. This is thirty five percent. That's really high in alcohol. That's so. thirty five. De Serrano is probably thirty five. Twenty eight. So twenty seven. It's like a it's like my grade in, in high school. It's twenty six. Uh, fifteen. <laughs> That's probably fifteen, right? Because it's yeah. We use yeah. that cheap triple sec. Yeah. The, these two are fifteen. It's not I can't that. imagine using higher proof. Uh, Versions of these. I would like use a hundred proof vodka. Yeah, well, I mean, like of these, like I think this drink oh, yeah. it might kill it. Has to be has to be a sugary drink. But if you're using like Senor Curacao, yeah, for yeah. the triple sec orange Curacao, or you're using or like Luxardo. a, you're just wasting. Yeah, you, I think you're wasting. Or you're using like a peach, yeah, this not is a, a schnapps. college drink. This is not. Yeah, and it's good because it's sweet. It's a sweet drink. It doesn't have the the bitter yeah. sour balance to it. From a Valentine's Day perspective, this is going to get everybody nice and toasty. Yeah, you don't want to drink too many of these. You're going to get sick. It's really sweet. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. That's. I have a video right here that's all about uh, hangovers. I don't know which one I'm going to put in there, but I got a couple about hangovers. It's right there. It's probably. Uh, you yeah. watching it? Yeah, I'm watching it. Pretty it's, good. It's. Um, I remember this one. Right? Yeah, I like this episode. One. Yeah. <laughs> you guys should check it out. So the, the the thing is, this drink you have, I don't know, four or five of these. I think you you, sh you shouldn't have four or five. Of these. No, but here's the thing. You can. I think you could physically have four or five of these. Plus three ounces of liquor. And you're not going to get a lot of... You're, you will not be trashed off of three of no, these. But you're going to not thank yourself in the morning. Because That's it's so the sweet. issue. You have five of these things, your body is going to be so deprived of, of all the things it needs. It's going to be like, I just want more sugar and alcohol, please. <laughs> you want a, a, a fun fact on Japanese Valentine's Day? Japanese Give us a Valentine's fun Day. fact on Japanese Valentine's Day. In Japan, Valentine's Day, the woman does things for the guy. There's a separate day for the women called White Day. That's March 14th. Why do they call it White Day and not Pink Day? I don't know. What? I'm not Japanese. So you just get oral on, on one day a year? That sucks. No, it does things. It doesn't does have to be things. sexual. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He, oh, he comes, he wash my yeah. clothes. So she takes you out, that kind of thing. Put my yeah. deodorant on for me. <laughs> day rape cocktail for Valentine's Day? Question mark, says Travis. Of course. Obviously. Not that we advocate that at all. No, we like drink responsibly and don't hurt other people. Like, That's we, a pretty good comment. We don't need women to march on Hudson, New Hampshire. No. <laughs> that would be weird. They're tired from marching everywhere else. Right. right. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's too much w women marching stuff. We love women. <laughs> Big fan of women. This is a drink that I like. I am good yeah. with this. This is college level all up and everywhere. But it's good. It's not like... No, it's the... 
it doesn't have too much booze. No, it, it seems well balanced for not having the flavors are balanced any pretty well. citrus that's sour. There's enough flavor complexity in this drink that it stands on its own without the cranberry stuff. juice and orange juice. This is like a madras, but with a little more other stuff yeah. in it. It's like a madras with slow gin, triple sec, <laughs> southern comfort, yeah. schnapps, and I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, if it was just cranberry juice, orange juice, and vodka, we'd be closer. You know how you know that? Uh, YouTube.com slash the craft cocktail. Bingo. Right up above. It's not out yet, but it will be soon, unless you're watching this in a few months, and then it's already out, so you yeah. should be watching it. Yeah. So if you don't know when this came out, go check out that. <laughs> that is how we get the views right there. That's how we try to get the views. That's right. Now, what you need to do is you need to go to homecocktailmenu.com. What you're going to do is download the Easy Vodka Cocktail Recipe Book. This isn't easy. What we put out are all the easy ones. You're going to need orange liqueur, peach schnapps, and vodka for the entire book. That's it. That's it. And then a uh, citrus vodka, but you can make that. I'm going to show you how to make that yeah, on, that's on, on craft cocktail. And and then you're done. Now you can make everything in there if you just get some fresh juices. Done! 15 drinks. 15 drinks. It took a lot more than 15 minutes to make the book. That's okay. So you, you should go get it. You did that. so they don't have to. That's what we do. That's where the value's at. We do things so you don't have to. So what you need to do, get that book. Before you slide on out, hit the subscribe button and check out one of those two videos. Because it's going to be a good time. They're waiting for you. They're waiting. They're right They're there. sitting there. Click me. Teach you how to drink. He's already. Th He's been thinking about the end game of this. Oh no! I just started thinking. I'm like, what the fuck are we gonna talk about? A Valentine's Day. Yeah. Let's just avoid the date rape reference. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah thanks. Happy Valentine's Day. If you need to forget all about it, drink this. I don't know. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. What else we got? You gonna make me do this again? That yeah. works. Chance I asked fine. Oh, I thought it was good. He's making funny noises and it drives me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. But, but, no more funny noises. I can do better than that, damn it. You want to do it again? Are you gonna feel better? I don't know what to do, but I know I can do better. Oh well, then right. that's fine. You, you, there's, there's always room for improvement later. That's why we do some of these shows. I want to do something that so we can hooks. get better at it. I want to have a better hook. You need a hook. Yeah, Buy our oh. shit! Are you doing that with that one? It tastes like juice. I know. Juice! I know, right? That's so wrong. I want 100% to be better. I bought a lot of this. Blend of four juices. It says it right there. Well, the kids would drink this. Oh, I'll, I'll drink it. I'll drink it. It's not bad. It's just I was expecting it to be bitterer. More bitter? Because there's no sugar. Is it more bitter a word? It I'll has a that. kick to it. A kick more bitter is two words. I think I taste vodka. I taste peaches. You taste whatever you think you want to taste out of that, I think. All right, two cocktails left. So much I definitely taste peaches. Oh, I got the ice cream headache. Two cocktails left. Oh, shit. So Jen likes right. a Valentine's Day cocktail. I'm trying Happy to figure out a taste. <laughs> Careful. You may rape your yeah. <laughs> It's not rape your gorilla. <laughs> I'll figure out how to make it. I read that somewhere. <laughs> More ingredients in a mixing. Into a mixing glass with ice. Stir. Oh, look. It's, we just went all classic all of a sudden. Black Manhattan. Verna. Really? Ooh, an ongo. Oh, Ian's gonna love this drink. I probably will. Right. You know me and my bitter bitterness. My bitter old man. Fern is not too bad, though. Because it has that coffee. It's coffee, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, it's not coffee. It goes good with coffee. Oh, well. I can't really smell it because it has that cap holder. Yeah, that cap holder. Mm -hmm. I hear it's bitter. All right, bourbon, rye whiskey. Bourbon and rye? No, bourbon oh. slash. Oh my, uh, you know what? I mean, I could. I got a product for you. So this is a Manhattan, oh, so we're going cocktail. Oh, let's use a rye. It works. It's nothing. Should we use the Canadian rye? Uh, no. No, you should use a rye whiskey. This is a rye whiskey. <laughs> That's Canadian. <laughs> I thought I had good reason. Manhattan's New York, buddy. Really okay, and how much bourbon is made in Manhattan, New York? <laughs> Zero! Well, 
Or he might have you there. <laughs> this? I, 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 is that rye? No, that's not rye. I didn't know you wanted rye. What well, says rye? It says, rye. It says um, whiskey. It says uh, bourbon, bourbon slash, rye. slash rye. So a Manhattan is traditionally made with rye. Then we'll use that's what rye. I'm thinking. Okay, that is a better argument than whatever you came up with the thing in New York. Maker's 46, I drink it by itself. Knob right? Creek. Do we have Knob Creek? Oh, rye. Oh, Ian, I bought Penny Blue. Oh, did you really? I did. How much was it? Holy crap. Sixty dollars. Oh, that's not too no, bad. No, it came down. That's the Marusha rum. Yeah. It used to be like a hundred and something bucks, right? No, eighty, I think. Was it eighty? In there. It was in our liquor store, and I'm like, oh, I'm getting this. <laughs> I didn't even. She like even had the. No. Is this our last one? No. Okay. Do we have anything else with orange juice? Batch two. Oh, look at that. I gotta smell it. <laughs> you can have some. I gotta sip it. You can sip it. I'll share. My mommy taught me how to share. <laughs> the next one has Drambuli de Strong or Maraschino cherry syrup. So no oranges. That's it. That's the last one? Yes. Okay. I'm just wondering if I can clean out this uh, this orange juice. Are you guys hearing that continuous tone? Mm. Oh, is it already yeah. here? Yeah. Marushan rum, right? Yep. Yeah, it's Marushan. Marushan. I actually drank it on ice. Sat down, had my... Mm. It's, it's good. It's oaky. Yeah. A little bit like cork. Like that cork flavor. Yeah. No. M not musky, but like, you know what I mean. Cork. Yes. Yeah, it's on. I don't know why it's on. It's it is 64. a really good one. This was like one of the first reviews that I was around for, I yeah. think. It was like early when it I was started. It was early. Yeah. They only gave us like a little tiny bottle. Yeah. That's really good. Where'd you get it? The liquor store. Hmm. They had it. We were looking for rum. It's on. Oh. oh, you had this. It's that, it's that refrigerator right there. Oh, uh, with the refrigerator. No, oh, that's why it's so loud right here. Because you're standing right next to it. No, it's Where over there. Where is it? This one. It sounds like no, it's over it's there. It's a computer fan. Is it the computer fan? No. Your computers have fans? You have a I think it's the computer fan. You have a really it's popular show when your computers have fans. This computer is super hot. No, I don't think so. Yeah, it's not over here. Unless it's the. Uh, it's over here somewhere. The ear blower? In the closet? Is this the, I don't think it's the first. I think it could be. No. There's definitely a hump. <laughs> you actually press for something. Actually, you guys. Sorry. Okay. okay. Two cubes left and two drinks. There's some that's coming from over here. Coming from over where? Sounds like she's RGB too. Ha ha ha. Yep. <laughs> R2D2 in your garage, that's awesome. <laughs> we try hard. I have no idea. <laughs> it's the fridge. Right here. Is it the fridge? Yeah. It sounds like it's that fridge over there. You Unplug bend, it. Bend over it and, and uh, listen Just to unplug the right there. Here. Just don't unplug the wrong one. Unplug where? I think it's that black cable, isn't it? Uh, You're not going to remember to plug it back in. No, I won't. It'll, everything will be bad. Yeah. <laughs> you sure it's the black one? Best everyday whiskey. Makers? I like Makers. I'm a Makers fan. I love Makers. There's, there's a bunch of great whiskeys out there. I mean, Bullet's pretty good. Buffalo Trace is pretty good. Well, this is the one we always... This is our winner right now, basically. Yeah, basically. Makers is good. Um, uh, every whiskey is an everyday whiskey to me. It's old fridge. I know. Back from when I was in college. Hey, I was there. <laughs> hey! Hey, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got that. We got that. We got, we got the cocktail cherries. Long greens into a mixing glass with ice. Stir well, strain into a chilled cocktail glass. Should we use the uh, bourbon cherries? Hmm. Hey, you got those? You want to use those? I just got them in the stock, too. I mean, do you have to open something? or? No, I don't think so. You have some open? If you have some open, yeah. If, you not, if not, we'll just use the Lizardo. I usually do. Jack Rudy? I don't know where they went. I thought it was better anyway. Are the Jack Rudy over in that refrigerator that makes all the noise? They can only go so uh, far. Maybe. I know, it's just, unless we ate them, you know, that might have been, oh, there's that fridge. <laughs> no, uh, they might be gone. I'm, we might have ate them. I don't them. see them. Might have had them on New Year's Eve. That is such a good rum. It is a good rum. It really is. 
Why is the freezer like rock solid? Ice? Um, because it is. I don't know, but I don't know how to get it off without thawing the whole thing out. <laughs> Chisel. Yeah. <laughs> I probably just thaw the whole thing out. <laughs> yeah. Here, yeah, hopefully that wine has been overcome by the wine over here. What are you talking about, me? No. Yes, stop whining. <laughs> I'll just yell more. Nobody will tell. Quit whining. Tell me what's happening. All right, Lachlan. Lachlan? How do you say your name? Lachlan McGregor. Lachlan? Lachlan? Lachlan. I'm going to go with Lachlan McGregor. We're making cocktails. We're do we have two left. This is one of the two. And this, this is, is called be, a black man. It's going to be good, I'm guessing. Ready? Don't worry. Yeah. All right. Everything. Welcome to Con Man Cocktails. I'm Derek. That's Ian. We're making the Black Manhattan. Boom! Just like that. Drop the mic. We're done. Oh, wait. Let's make a drink. Let's, let's make a drink. Black Manhattan's got two ounces of rye. We're using rye, bourbon rye. An ounce of Averna. One or two dashes of uh, Angostura bitters. Cocktail cherry. We're going to take these three things. We're going to stir them up and chill them. And we're going to throw it into a chilled cocktail glass with a cocktail cherry at the bottom. That's right. Want to do it? I'm going to do it. Do it. If, you're, if this is your first time here, we're here to create really cool cocktails that utilize some new ideas, some taste, some knowledge, give you a little bit of the background history if there is any, uh, give you some new tastes that you've not had before that you could try at home. We do a little, some, some simple cocktails, some a little bit more complicated. This is, I think, kind of falls in the simple cocktail realm. Uh, or it falls in the classic, like advanced yeah, drinker like, realm. This is, people will say, how's this a common man cocktail's cocktail? This isn't a common man because I'm wearing an, a, an Autobot shirt. That's why. Yeah, and I got some Adidas polo on. So right, common so man. this is common man. That's how we roll. Subscribe to the show. It costs you nothing. What's a Verna? What's That's a Verna? What chat room would like to know. Good Dude. question. Good question. What's a Verna? Our live stream has asked, so I shall answer for everybody. All your knowledge to you. This is an Amaro. You will see a video coming out very soon. I think it's on this channel. See, this is a craft cocktail, but I think it's this channel. That's all about bitters and Amaro. I think it's going to be this one. Uh, an Amaro or an Amari, which is the category of plural amounts of Amaro, is a bitter, like a cocktail bitter, but sold in a bottle. Um, that means it can be sold in a liquor store. Where standard bitters can be sold in any store because it's non-potable, so it's something that you can use it for stomach ailments, but if you drink the whole thing, you're going to have a stomach ailment. So this is a large-scale version, often used for coffees and stuff in Italy. Uh, in, in Italy and a lot of Europe, Europe they use a, they have a lot a bigger emphasis on bitter liqueurs. Uh, bitter things. Herbal things. Herbal. Your chartreuses. Yeah. Your Even Jaeger, if Jaeger you want to get. Nicer, yeah. Jaeger here is kind of kind of trendy hipster. No, not even. It's just, it's always been around. Yeah, it's college you know. It's college. Uh, this, but it's a little bit more serious in Europe. This case, Averna is, is an Amaro. Ooh, um, a julep strainer. A julep strainer. You could use one of those, yes. You, you Can you find it? This is actually it's a very. A, it's a I mess under there. I know I gotta figure that. That's a, that's a project I gotta deal with. Um, it kind of has like a kind of a coffee meets Campari smell to it, with a little bit of a burn. The this bottle's a little bit old. Like it was our first sponsor on Comic Cocktails in two thousand eight. That's pretty old. So it could be better. That's I'll almost ten years. It's nine through. years now. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So this is a variation on a Manhattan. It's black. Which is rye, sweet vermouth. Bitters. Bitters optionally in the cherry. So the difference is instead of a sweet vermouth, we're using the Averno. Do you have to muddle fruit with that one? Nope. You're no, I'm thinking of old fashioned. Why do I get those confused? And the, and the Manhattan for a long time, well, it still is, is one of my go-to water drinks because it's simple. It, uh, a lot of times it's served in this drink, which doesn't seem too manly, oh, but okay. it's a strong drink. It's like a martini style drink. Um, so it's served in a martini glass? Yep. Classically served with rye, not bourbon, but I get it with makers a lot of times. Mm -hmm. And this should have different coffee undertones and a little less sweetness, maybe. Yeah, because it's on the sweet vermouth? Yeah, because it's um, Yeah, man... It's better. Uh, man... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a little, it's more bitter than a standard Manhattan, but it's really yeah. good. Um, if you like the, the, sipper, the, the idea of like a rye, which is going to give you that musky... Um, mm -hmm. There is a little bit of oak play in here, but I don't know if it's from what it's from. Uh, maybe it's just because the bitterness it's comes out. From the here, but. Yeah, I mean, rye traditionally isn't too... I mean, it's got oak. It's aged. But it, it's yeah. not as predominant vanilla flavor. 
Right. Uh, this this definitely has more of that rye, spicy, musky, yeah. um, earthy flavor. Right. Which well, you're not always in the mood for that muskiness, so that's that's yeah, why yeah. I think Maker's plays in this. Mm -hmm. Well, in the standard. No, yeah. If I if I did this, it would be I would go bourbon because I want I want I want I want Donkey Kong rolling barrels at me. Like, and you I like the oak. That, yeah, like <laughs> just blow up oak and vanilla all over my face. And this almost has vanilla some vanilla tones to it, doesn't it? Does, it does, yeah. Which is interesting. Uh, the it is bitter. Like it's really bitter. Yeah. It's n not as bitter as a Negroni. It's a coffee bitter, like yeah. like like um, with the Rumson's coffee liqueur. Um, bitter. It's bitter, and what's great about that is uh, like Steve roast. and Eric were, were were doing this with us. Like, Rumson's they, link right here. They had us taste it, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's bitter. They're like now taste it again. That second taste isn't nearly as bitter. Yeah. But that that coffee bitterness is kind of the bitterness that, that you get from the Averno in this, in this drink. Unlike the Negroni, you have Ongo in there. Which yeah, it's gonna add more. Bitter. It's gonna add even more bitter. Yeah, you can taste a little bit of Ongo, like the the trade spice, but yeah. the. This is a, like unlike a Negroni for whatever reason. Even though this is quite bitter, this is a drink that I would be okay ordering. Like I could order totally. this drink, yeah. but I can't tell you exactly why. I think it's because the intriguingness of the rye, where the yeah. gin to me isn't as predominant in the Negroni as the rye is in this drink. There's some nice complexity to it, and maybe it's just I kind of think of it as the floral complexity you get from a gin. You're getting that kind of complexity from the the bitter flavors and, yeah. and the rye in here. It's it's I mean and it's a little bit strong. It's I a lot think. strong. <laughs> it feels it feels strong to me. So the the Verno itself is thirty two percent alcohol. That's... The bitters are forty four, which contribute almost nothing. And this is <laughs> oh, so we're using hundred proof apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Things I don't pay attention to. So I. <laughs> so this is a it should drink. be stronger though. Like at hundred proof, I would have expected this. It it doesn't taste like hundred proof. No, it doesn't. It still tastes like a. I didn't even uh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, who knew? I I have really grown to enjoy 100 proof spirits outside right. of 100 proof vodka. Right. Hold on. Well, hey. also, you're not the kind of person to slam down a drink. Yeah, we don't need ever clear, do we? In a big plastic bottle? That's not even 100 proof, is it? It's 151 proof. Okay, whatever. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. It's okay, yeah, I, I was reading the percentage. Yeah. Uh, so, like, that type of stuff... This is, this, oh, it's not just open, open it. it. Oh, okay. it's, it's this is the kind of stuff that Derek loves to drink. Oh, it's even straight got a slow, from the bottle. It's even got a slow pour on it. He, are, you try, are you calling me out so I have to do it? Yep. Like, like I have some sort of problem with peer pressure? If it gets me views. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he does have a problem with peer pressure, apparently. <laughs> it doesn't taste good. <laughs> no. I, <laughs> I feel like, wow. That's, that's the great thing is he lives here, so I can do that to him. He it's made have, from corn. He doesn't have to drive anywhere. <laughs> um, spicy. This, I, I, what I was trying now to I'll say. Now try that. Is that weaker now? Oh, yeah, probably. It was weaker to begin with. <laughs> Would someone who can't stand Campari possibly enjoy a burner? Oh, yeah. Maybe. It's a different kind of bitter. Yeah, it's not as bitter as, as a Campari. Yeah, it's, Campari has a very it. sharp, bitter bite to yeah. it. There's, there's multiple bittering agents out yeah, there. Yeah, Campari uses one. This uses a different one. I don't one, remember what Campari probably. uses, but it's it a strong it bitter. A, it might be. Gentian's, Gentian can be killer. No, no, but we took a class. Yeah, we, we, we've, we've been educated on this. We just don't remember stuff because you're educated after a night of drinking. Uh, Averna is something that... Is a bitter if you're gonna have this on is hand. Different. Yeah, it's very coffee like. It's it's it works great in coffee, but if you're buying it to experiment, go with Ian's suggestion, which is always to try it at the try bar. Try it at the bar, yeah. Because in a lot of bars will have Averna. There's there is a selection of Averna cocktails, but they tend to be more classy, um, ancient style cocktails that call for Averna more. You can't just sub in Averna for Campari in a drink that calls for Campari. Different flavor profile. It's, it's flavor, like, color, nothing is it's like, like mixing gin and rum up. You know, it's, you right. wouldn't do it. It's it's like mixing a habanero bitter and a uh, nutmeg bitter. Like if that's a thing, they, they're both bitter. But it's not bitters. Taste the same. There's not bitter. Walnut bitters. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's not going to do the same thing. That is killer. <laughs> um, Anyway, what I was trying to say is I'm enjoying more hundred proof bourbons and spirits and whiskeys more yeah. than I used to. It well, doesn't taste you, as well, much. Well, you know like how to use them right. I mean, yeah. you're not you don't necessarily substitute them one for one, especially like a 151 for a, an 80 proof. No, you don't. Su you don't substitute them one for one. You balance your cocktail differently with those. But I didn't in this case. It's still fine. Yeah. Two ounces of hundred proof 
rye against this, not a problem. If you're a new drinker, probably not what you want to do. There is some level of experience that you, you've got to... It's like jogging. Yeah. If you've never you run before in your life, you don't go running a, a six minute mile. It's gonna you're gonna you're it's, you're not gonna get through, you're gonna die. Well I started with a marathon, start. I worked my way up to five K, so <laughs> That's right. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to me. I can't. drink responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, you can go to AussieDrinks.com slash CMC, speaking of drinking responsibly, and you can buy products that have the Common Man Cocktails logo. Yeah. I probably haven't told people that enough, and I get pissed off because nobody buys the CMC stuff. But they don't know it's there. They don't know it's there. I have a bar mat that's typically here. You can buy those. Those are all things you can buy. The shaker, you can't buy right now, but it'll be in stock within a couple <coughs> weeks, I hope. Funny thing is, it took me a year to sell eight I shakers. I had five people ask me why it's out of stock. Yeah, you don't want to bury that thing. And I'm like, well, whatever. So you want to do that. Also, you want to subscribe below. Check out The Craft Cocktail. If you want to subscribe to this show, click that. Then you go to youtube.com slash The Craft Cocktail. You subscribe to that show while you're there. If you don't want to type that into your URL in another tab, click on one of the two videos here and start your adventure in cocktail making right this second. Go. Now. We're teaching you how to drink. Go. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh... Today we're going to make a riff on a classic Manhattan called the Black Manhattan. It's a sweet for bitters, sweet vermouth. We're going to use some Averno. And Derek's going to chug some 151. Because he ain't driving. <laughs> That's why you put your, oh wow, shit. That's why you put your lips on it. Unfortunately, it absorbs into your lips. It does. Which is why I just got to keep talking so it keeps absorbing. Oh, it's sour. You want to try some, alcohol. you want to try some grain alcohol? Nope, I want the cherry. You know what I bought this for? Nope. I already my fingers in it. This is oh, for yeah. making. You want a spoon? Nope. This is for making bitters. Suck on your fingers. Nope. Clean that shit up. This is for making bitters and infusions. <laughs> What's her problem? <laughs> I don't know. She's a fiend. She's on my fingers. Well, well, right, but why are you choking and making all kinds of weird drugs? Right, but it's just alcohol. Is it too strong for you? Yeah. Really? This? No. The other cocktail in your hand. <laughs> so there's like a few rums that are like really good that you don't even want to use for cocktails. That's one of them. Oh yeah, I wouldn't put that in a cocktail. And I, I kind of like I drink it straight. The Maison is good in daiquiris, but other than that, I'd like to drink that straight yeah. too. Yeah, that's okay. a really good. I could drink that straight. The yeah. Maison is really good. That'd be one of them. Or the Top Rumsons. The, yeah, um, the, um, Grand, Grand Reserve. Yeah, Grand Reserve. We could try this. Yeah, that's like a more sweet. I could still use that in a cocktail. I think over over like a. Oh, you could. The Penny Blue or the. And the plantation makes bad. some good stuff too. Ooh. The plantation makes some good stuff too. You know what pissed me off though? What? You can't buy this at a New Hampshire liquor store anymore. Oh, yeah, really? I, have it. I went to buy it specifically for planta plant planters, planters punches. Remember we, remember we made those? Yes, we when did that on the in? show. And then yeah. We, yeah. So I wanted to make them at the last football game. And they, I bought this instead, but I wasn't sure because I had never had it, so I bought it. Yeah. Uh, but they didn't have the plantation. Oh, oh crap. We drink some. We drink. <laughs> we drink. Yeah, you guys never did before. What are you talking oh. about? Dan didn't before either. Oh, Dan, Dan and sure. I went through a whole bottle of rum. That's we what he said. We also drank a little bit of that. What else are you how come that's only halfway gone? Oh, I also like that Merchant's Reserve from Denizen. I think yeah, that's yeah. a great right. idea. That's I gotta so order good. that. I gotta special order that. Now. I love El Dorado. Yeah, we I would show. drink El Dorado straight. Yeah. Have you tried that? Is this the Bacardi Black? Yeah. It's it's not bad. It's pretty good. It's better in a planter's punch than that. That's than... <laughs> <laughs> that? Yeah, what's the flavor? It's Fire? Like a, no, it's like a brown sugar molasses. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's, it's dark. It's a dark brown. No, I know, but it's not dark like molasses. Like um, It's, not it's dark. almost like a fruity molasses kind of. Yeah, but it's not like blackstrap, which is no. what I wanted to avoid. Which is why no, it worked in a planter's punch. Super... Yeah, this worked okay. Oh, that's good too. Ron Zapata, Zacapa. Zacapa. My God, I'm gonna stick this in your ass. I, I keep start... thinking Zapata because that was in Ocean 13 when they were down in Mexico. They were talking about Senor Zapata. A nuclear factory? I don't think so. I could guarantee we that. We just happened. got Everclear in New Hampshire, and it's not even the like super strong Everclear. No, it's just the 161. What is this? Do we do something with this? No, I'm sure. No, they, oh, okay. he was showing the. You want to make a cocktail, right? Ah, oh, oh, shit, Joseph right? Cody Clark didn't get his call out. Hmm. 
Joseph, no, you have to do two. Joseph Cody Clark. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to remember that. That's a long name. Joseph oh, Cody Clark. Three names. Let's just serial killer. Yeah, it is. I can't. Sorry, Joseph. <laughs> Sorry, Joseph, but... But don't come visit. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, oh, look! Is Kyle name. still in there? Room? It's from Bowie. How much do you Joseph now? Cody Clark. I'm going to put that by Kyle's the other one. Do you keep the Jarambouille with your whiskey or do you keep it in the liqueurs? Uh, yes. Yeah, Kyle's right there. Joseph. He's the one that said Ron is the copper. Yeah. Oh, well, well Kyle's got an executive producer cred, creds in this next one. I don't think You're going to have to find out. Though. Sorry. I was going to harass Travis about the Patriots making it to Super Bowl. Oh my god! So the cherry syrup. Ooh, I like Jarambouille. Ooh, I like these Serrano. Oh, Ooh, I like this drink. <laughs> 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 What's going on over there? It's a whole lot of goodness. Trying to find some food? Uh, no, I'm not trying to find it. I was just digging it into the bottom back corner. Yeah. We so don't I need to lot. drive it out. Rusty nail, jambu and scotch. But what am I doing that? No. We're doing the shiny nail. I can't believe that I drink beef eater now. We went to a beef oh, event. your taste change. Yeah, we went to a beef eater event and I was like, oh, these are all horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and now I drink. You, come around, you guys have come around to the gym quite a bit. We have. We've come around, gone back, and then we brought some more with us. <laughs> we've come to a lot of that beef eater gin. No, well, just, we it be it is funny that. how the taste changes. Gin is like... I think whiskey and I think you go like you start with vodka, then you know, it's like tequila, yeah, and then but you don't really appreciate tequila. But then you get into rum yeah. and whiskeys. They're like, oh, I still like the tequila. Oh, yeah, I like it differently now. And they're like, oh, that's right, there's gin. And yeah. This is deliciously complex. <laughs> and then mezcal pops in. You're like, holy shit. Yeah. So, I, Scotchy McScotch face obviously <laughs> said that Drambuie is basically a cheap Scotch and honey. Yeah, yes, Drambuie. Drambuie is basically Jack in honey, or whatever they call that. Yeah. What is it? That Jack and honey. Yeah. Is it called Jack and honey? Jack honey. Jack whatever. Daniels honey or Honey Empire. I don't know what the hell they call. It. Any of the honey bourbons or honey whiskeys. This is the same thing for Scotch. It's Prince yeah. Charles Edward Stewart's. Okay, well, Prince Charles Edward Stewart's Drambuie. Liqueur. Yes. It's a liqueur. I will mention that in the show it's to educate my viewers. Of herb spices and heather honey. Have, what what are Ian's top to five TV shows of all time? Top five TV shows of all time? All in the Family. <laughs> that's a good show, but I love show. All in the Family. It's a great show. It's hilarious. Show. No, uh, Mary Tyler Moore. I like Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, there are little granted. Downton Abbey is an amazing show. You Laverne and Shirley. You have the weirdest shows. <laughs> so, Downton Abbey's great. Brady Bunch. Game of Thrones is great. My it's still on. Knight Rider. I like Westworld. That came out uh, this year, which is really it. good. That was a great show. Yeah. Um, Battlestar Galactica. I like This Is Us right now, which is a pretty good show. Doctor I Who? I don't know if you guys have seen that. It's I good. haven't watched it, but... I like Doctor Who. I know yeah. what it is. I used to like... Uh, not Wild Oh, Hogan's Heroes. I used to like that. <laughs> oh, there we go. I now to, we're talking. I used to like to watch that with my dad. That was oh, a good show. WKRP in Cincinnati. Oh, I love MASH. Yeah, I bet. That Dude, was a I great show. Oh, it was an amazing show. WKRP in Cincinnati was good. Cheers was great. Cheers. Oh, Taxi was great. I... Oh, Taxi. He's the new Jack Hirsch? Yeah, yeah, Jack Hirsch. Yeah. Yeah. I only Superior know Alice. <laughs> Superior Alice. There's so Jonas. many good shows yeah. out there. It's like, nowadays, especially, everything's good because they got the formulas down. The yeah. formula? But Yeah, the formula for a good show, character development. Then why is it that so many shows get chance. canceled? Yeah, they don't give them a chance. Yeah. I mean, you can only, only so many people can watch so many shows, so they're going to they're gonna scrap the ones that people oh, have a last Breaking Bad was good. I Breaking like Bad Breaking was really Bad. good. I like shows like that that have a limited lifespan, so they don't... See, I watched all... I like Blacklist. I watched that. I like Breaking Bad. I didn't watch the last season. I like Lost. You could avoid the last Oh, season. Lost but was good. I, yeah, that was really good for its time. Lost... Uh, I watched the, the end, first though, episode of Sneaky Pete. It was kind of good. I like Giovanni Ramisi. Um... Doctor Who? Red Oaks is pretty good. That's a Netflix or I've a heard prime thing. Yeah. Orange good. and the New Black. I haven't seen it. What about um, Stranger Things? Oh, Stranger Things. That was really good, yeah. yeah. Can't I wait to see what they that, do again. I know it's an, it's an 80s throwback, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like Goonies meets yeah. horror film. They film it in like an 80s style and they yeah. act in like an 80s style. It's really good. Yeah. Cry to Kid? No, a TV show. <laughs> that wasn't a TV show. Alright, are we ready? Yeah. All in the Family. I, I hated that. all in the family. Um, oh. Yes. Um, 
and I hated MASH. Moving on up. What's that show? Uh, different, uh, Jefferson, Jefferson. Different Strokes. <laughs> That's different. Oh, Silver you still Spoons. like Web Webster? Oh, Sorry. I like Silver Spoons. Webster. Uh, what was the show with uh, the, all the girls? Uh, who's the Facts boss? Facts of Life. Facts of Life. Who's the, who's the boss? Mr. Belvedere. Who's the boss? Mr. Belvedere. Oh, Mr. Belvedere, yeah. yeah. Punky Brewster. Oh, I like Punky <laughs> God. <laughs> Punky Brewster, shit. Facts of Life was good. <laughs> We're scraping the, scraping the bottom of the river here. <laughs> Roseanne. Oh, yeah. Roseanne yeah. was good. I like the guy big, from Big Bang Theory. Yeah, it's funny because Johnny Galecki's in Big Bang Theory. Yeah, and is. also Aunt Jackie from Roseanne is Sheldon's mom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, uh, they had somebody else in there. <laughs> Cosby, too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Cosby was good. I like Cosby. Cosby was a good show. I like and Cosby. And uh, what, to be a little what was the other one where they were in college? The girl from, uh, uh, Sheldon's girlfriend is from uh, Blossom. 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 Yeah. Um, there was some, somebody else was from something else. I can't remember what it was. Someone else was from something else. There's way too many variables. I can't complete the equation. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I got X equals Y. I think Leonard's mother was from Just Shoot Me. No, she no, wasn't. No, Leonard's was, mother was is from The Good Wife. Okay. She's been, right? She was in other stuff. She's been in other stuff. Is that oh, her? Family Ties, yeah. The Good Wife? Is that the girl, the is lady? Is that her? It's either, she's either Fresh Leonard's Prince. husband, mother. Yeah, because yeah, the other yeah, one's yeah, from Roseanne. Sure. Yeah, her. yeah, the girl from Roseanne, the sister, is uh, his, Sheldon's mother. Yeah, yeah the Sheldon's Daffy mother. Daffy Jins? I don't know what a Daff, Daffy's, oh, do we have Daffy? Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Dude, I watched so much oh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I still will listen to the soundtrack. Different world, thank you. A different world, I remember that. Yeah. Family, family ties. ties. I like yep. family ties. Is that the one with Alex Keaton? Yeah, yep. Alex, Alex Keaton. Keaton. And then there was uh, the one with uh, Alan. Uh, I know. I didn't ever got into House? House of Cards. No, no. no. Uh, Kurt Cameron and Growing Pains. Growing Pains. Yeah. Which is good. I watched. Leonardo that DiCaprio was his friend in that show. Oh, was oh, he? Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. He was a little. Kid, it wasn't right? Booger. It was somebody else. It was a small. He was a young kid. Yeah. I never did. You watch House of Cards? I never got. No, I never. I never. I watched. Watch Courtney likes it. She watched that. It's too much. Too much thinking. I get confused. I, I can't do that and YouTube at the same time. Cameras are running. Ready? <laughs> Welcome to Comic Man Cocktails. I'm Derek Detsy, and today we're making the Braveheart cocktail named by me, submitted by Tom T. Produced by Kyle Wood and Joseph Card Cody Clark. Joseph Cody Clark, I'm sorry I apologize for not having you in the last episode, so you get some credits in this one. You're rolling right now, and after that, somebody in our live stream, somebody we hang out with for like three days, Drunk up some drinks at Tales of the Cocktail 2016, Kyle Wood. Have the pictures to prove it. You know what's really cool about both Kyle yeah, and Dave? Big ass drinks. Dave, if you check them out, you have to go far on my Instagram, but there's a picture of Kyle with the big championship. The big golden, yeah. Uh, drinking, I think he was drinking was with called. Jalitha. Like a, yeah. Like, oh, we so, all taste it. I can't remember what it was called. Though. No, but the photo I have is a couple of both of them there. Well, um, that's because if there's a camera, Jalitha's in Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the coolest thing about our fans is when you actually get to meet them, like David Worre and, and, yep. and yeah. Kyle. Chris, Christopher. And Christopher from, oh, yeah, from Sweden. Uh, um, shoot, I'm... Um, uh, blank, the guy that we met in the lobby there. We met a whole bunch of people. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that was when we were he's right on my before Snapchat. we were doing a... Yeah, he was from Texas. Yeah, so the, being able to put faces yeah, to people is pretty yes. cool. Yep. So it, look up Google Tales of the Cocktail. Think about maybe going for 2017 and you could drink, party, and have fun with us. Um, this drink... When, when we're not working. Is when we're not working. I'm not working as hard as this time. We're not working as hard as this That was a bitch. So this <laughs> cock... Never, never did finish with that one, boss, did we? No, but I've, uh, yeah, we gotta do that. <laughs> so this cocktail. Mine is cocktail. Mine is cocktail. It's Thank called you. the. Half ounces of red buoy. One and a half ounces of Rono. Amaretto. One bar spoon of maraschino cherry syrup. That is the entire thing. If you want to see a little bit of the tales of the cocktail, you can find, well, while you can watch the tales of the cocktail clips that we did, I did a nice video. You know what? Screw that! The video's right here. That's the video of all of us, Kyle Wood, one of our executive producers, patreon.com slash cmc. If you want to help donate to the show, I could use the money. Everybody's bringing down their payments. Um, we did an interview with the DiCirono, uh with uh, Paul. Paul Savini. From, from, probably, from uh, DiCirono. He's in a Rhode Island area, and I still got to get him out on the show to do some stuff with us. Uh, so if you want to know more about DiCirono or Amaretto, why it's called DiCirono, not just... What well, it used to be called G-Show on Um You can watch that interview linked up here and down there. This drink, pretty simple to make. Three ingredients. I called it the Braveheart because Tom didn't have a name for it. It had Drambouille. Drambouille's Scottish. 
It's a, it, you just stir it. You stir, what did you stir, 30 seconds? I stirred it, it says to shake and strain, oh, yeah. or serve straight up, but you know what? I didn't shake and strain it because there's no, uh, there's, there's, there's no juice. The only thing you'd be integrating is the cherry juice and you could get that with a good yeah. stir. It's uh, just a, it's a syrup. Yeah, so you could do whatever you want. This is gonna look better. If you shake and strain, it's gonna have like probably a little off-white opaqueness to it as well because of the bubbles in there. Yes. But Drambouille is basically uh, a scotch honey liqueur. So if you look at any of the bourbon honey liqueurs, which are flood the market over the last four years or so, not necessarily the most popular now, I don't think. I don't know what's the most popular right now. Uh, Drambouille kind of falls in that category, but it's been around a lot longer. And they branded it as a single product as opposed to just honey scotch, which would be dumb. Right. And they this, is, this has been around for a while. It's got a name for itself. So. Right. It's got Prince somebody in there. It's important. So you may know the Drambouille from the Rusty Nail cocktail, which is basically that in scotch, I believe. Yeah, I think so. It's a pretty basic cocktail. Um, this is the only other cocktail I think I've seen with Drambouille in it. Really? Maybe. I think I solved that wrong. This whole, I mean, that was all been used in the show. Oh, okay. So maybe not. There's been Drambouille cocktails. I, may, but this there's is not that many. This is a cocktail many. with the Drambouilles up front yeah. uh, with its sweetness. And this is a sweet oh, yeah, drink. It's a sweet, this is a sweet drink. Look at the ingredients. You got amaretto, you got drambouille, which is a, a honey based yep. scotch. You're not going to get, and then, and you're like, okay, so I've got a honey scotch, like, it's a 40% alcohol, so it is still potent. It's potent. Uh, so you have a sweet liqueur that's high proof for a liqueur. You have De Serrano, which is probably 35, 28. I think we did this already in the like, last episode. Um, <laughs> and this death by sex. Thanks, your myth, right? if you're not on the live stream. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, because it's all happening for us right away. Yeah. You take those things and you're like, mm, not sweet enough. How can we sweeten this up? Oh, a bar spoon of maraschino liqueur. Which, which actually adds a little bit of flavor yeah. to it. So now, it, just to avoid confusion for those that don't understand, this is Luxardo maraschino liqueur. This, this is Luxardo cherries. So if you took these cherries and you distilled them, you could get this. Right. Doesn't taste like cherries. Not the same. No, not even close. Well, so, there's a cherry flavor. There is, but it's a bitter. Sure. It's not sweet. No, it's not sweet. It's as sweet as vodka. Like it's not. No, it's sweeter than vodka. <laughs> it's like sweet as like vodka that kissed you. And it's got a little bit of bitterness to it, so. It's yeah. It's, it's a very earthy, unique cocktail. Unique it's flavor yeah. that um, if you watched last month in January when Doug was here, we had a rant. He was like, "I like Sardo kills everything." Uh, but the Dorchester, you liked. Yep, that's true. Aviation, the Dorchester, I'll link that up there. It can be used properly. This is what you use in this drink. There's a huge difference. This is a sugar syrup. Yeah. This is not a sugar syrup. No. So use Luxor, and that's what it really calls for. You can use your cherries as you get at Walmart. It's not going to do the same thing for you. If you've not yet had a Luxardo cherry or a Jack and Rudy cherry, yeah. it's a whole different thing than those bright red cherries that you get. Right. At the supermarket or at bars who use those instead of the, the classic cocktail cherries. They're very sweet and they have a lot of, they're very rich. This is rich, sweet, and deli and delightful. Mm -hmm. It's a non-forgettable experience. The maraschino cherries you buy at the store are fake, useless. D they don't serve much. Of a it's, it's like porn versus actually having a girlfriend. Right? You've got the girlfriend. You can do a lot more with that. <laughs> you got porn. It's very one directional. This has a lot more utilization. Well, you combined a girlfriend and family. That's a girlfriend porn experience. There you go. <laughs> this is what you're saying. This is a girlfriend with porn. Okay. At the same time, good times, perfect for Valentine's Day. This is a good all-around bit. Like that being noted, they're significantly more expensive. Oh yes, this is like sixteen plus dollars. Porn awesome drinks. Oh, the cherries. The cherries. Oh yeah. No, you, just, you don't get any no, cherries just, in porn. This you can get at awesomedrinks.com. Yeah, you can get those at awesomedrinks.com. It, it's worth the spend. It Just is. Just don't sit there and eat the whole jars. And don't put them in the refrigerator. No. Don't the put them. If Don, if you're watching, like, don't put these in the refrigerator because they it, it solidifies. You put these in a cool. It's like honey cool place. That, uh, honey that uh, crystallizes. Yeah, it's, it, it has the same consistency. It does the same. Don't thing. and it, and if you do that, if you do crystallize them, pro tip, boil some water and put this in before you start the water boiling because. Yeah, well, the changes. Clock, yeah. yeah. So you put this in a, a thing of water. You bring the water to boiling. You let it boil for like five minutes. Then you look inside. If it's all warm and, and gooey in there, take it out of the water and don't put it in the refrigerator. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Stop. Just put it into your closet, someplace. It's just like porn. So that is the product you want to use for this. 
there's really no substitution. You could try anything you want. If you're going to write in the comments, what if I do this? Do it. Tell me what it tastes like. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Good afternoon, everybody. David is in the house. Oh, yes! That's awesome. Love it. <laughs> that, my friends, is how you make the Braveheart cocktail. Scottish. Braveheart. Blood. Best characters. movie. Yeah. I didn't think of that, but that works. There you go. It's you get a the blood. Movie. It's a bloody movie. If you haven't seen Braveheart, you leave a comment below missing. so I can tell you you should go watch that movie. It's Block like out some time. Four it's hours. If I remember right, my freshman year of college consisted of watching every that day. several times. Oh, yeah. We watched we watched Braveheart every weekend, both <laughs> both VCR tapes, one and then the other one finishes. And we you played, get our, up and pee. played our hack Diablo and yep. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> and eat our Athens pizza. Yeah. Dude, I'm this is college. A, Braveheart <laughs> is a college experience for you. If it isn't, it was for us. What are you talking about? That's not much different than your life now, Ian. He doesn't have really Except for Athens, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. My hand hurts now. So, that, my friends, is what you need to do next. Now, you want to subscribe. There's a button right there. There's two videos off to the side. Click on one of those. The top one is whatever YouTube thinks that you should watch from our channel. The bottom one is what I think you should watch from our channel. Also go to youtube.com slash the craft cocktail and watch our new channel which is all focused around the craft of cocktail making. <coughs> Geared towards mythology, higher production value, great editing, and uh, more to the point videos. That's right, under like five minutes, easy. Yeah. Easy! We teach you how to drink! You know what the problem with Scotland is? It's full of Scots. Scots. <laughs> <laughs> this guy can't See? be William Wallace, I'm prettier than this, this man. man. Uh, these are things so that many great I remember. Ones. See that? You guys quoted uh, Braveheart like I would quote the Big Lebowski. No, like you would quote anything. <laughs> Doesn't matter. All right. Uh, you want to do this one? Sure. You got something? Yeah. No, I don't have anything, but I'm okay. going to figure it out. Ready? There can be only one. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're going to make the Braveheart cocktail. It has a product from Scotland. There's all the products that are on the table. Which one's from Scotland? Answers to quiz at the end. Just keep watching. We'll give you the answers. Togi? Togi, you need to, like, get with it, dude. What does Togi do? He's never, never seen Braveheart or Lord of the Rings. All right, you're big. All right, so Lord somebody, of the Rings. Somebody kick him out of the channel. Yeah. You can, watch, you can read the Lord of the Rings. You've probably read. Stogie, have you read the Lord of the Rings? Like, that is a thing. Where's the decent runner? I'll finish it. Oh, yeah, it's so almost done. It? I don't yeah. know where that came from, so you're going to have to do that. There's no point in putting that back up there. This? No. You, you want a uh, glass? No. That comes in a glass. There's a glass right here. It comes in a glass. I, I was like, oh, you're going to finish this? <laughs> then you didn't know me. I don't even. know you very well. You haven't read The Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit? Oh, that is sweet, but it's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. 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 How have you got through life? Like, for me... What do you talk to people about? <laughs> <laughs> what, do you what do you... What do you even say to people? I read The Hobbit when I was like 13. And then, maybe even younger, and I read Lord of the Rings probably a year after. The funny thing is it took me about two years to read The Fellowship. Yep. But when I finished, I finished the other two books. In like, like a month? Yeah, it was quick. Because that well, it was like on vac. I remember like we went on vacation, and my cousin didn't come. My cousin Doug wasn't there. Yeah, we'll put that back. So, um... <laughs> I had nothing else to do because my parents are kind of boring and they just want to go antiquing. They want to do adult stuff? Yeah. So I, I read a lot of Lord of the Rings. I finished the, the books. It was awesome. Great experience. But Chris now... Chris who played Saruman, read those things every year. He was a... Yeah. Big like, a lot of the, the people in those movies were Tolkien fans. So was um, the only Colbert. One, yeah, Colbert, Colbert is like too. the biggest Tolkien fan. He can list off like elves from That's the right, Silmarillion. Like... He can, but he he has trivia contests about Lord of the Rings with Frodo from Lord of the Rings, like <laughs> like the, when he has his guests on, he would, kicks yeah. their ass. Well, I bet he does. Well, if you're a fan, I mean. And, and a lot of the actors were fans, but not super fans. It's different. Yeah, there's a difference between being an appreciator and a fan. Right. The books are better than the movies, but you get the gist if you. That was the last them. one, right? I'm not jumping good ice. Oh, was that the last, the last one? Yeah, that was the last one. Oh, sweet. Then I can drink the rest of this. And now you know, Jen. Were well, you were worried that. about drinking whatever that was? I was going to bring it back to my seat with me. Oh. But I'm not going back to my seat, so I can drink. Drank. It's Drank. not even nine yet. We did eight cocktails. We're good, man. Oh, I, I know that. Juice? I know my time's going to be good. 
I like when I scroll to the end and it you says eight minutes. Six thirty. Where did you start after six thirty? Like no, we didn't start until he was squeezing oranges for like ten minutes. So mm. a little while after that. Who reads? I read. I have a Kindle. I read all the time. I read every night. Right now, read. I'm reading Witch World. Ian reads uh, comic books. Comic books. I'm reading. Uh, We're done. We have no more cocktails. If you have questions, I can answer them. I'm reading The Walking Dead. She's reading and a I comic book. Ian. <laughs> I am reading Witch World, and then I don't know what I'm going to read because all the books I'm reading have authors that are still alive. That aren't done the next book yet. Yeah, I hate that when you catch up. And now movies. I don't know what to do because I got to figure out what all the books were. I have the authors like that, and then they'll release a book, and they're stupid. And I read all the Kindle stuff, and they release their Kindle version for like fifteen dollars, and their paperback version for like seven. Sounds like they're smart. I'm like, uh, no, I'm not buying that. <laughs> See, I love having the physical book myself. Oh, I don't do like that. a real book. Yeah. Physically, like even you, if it's not like a comic book, obviously, but like a yeah. real book, book. Yeah, I like having the book. Really? Like, Why? Like, what? That's my that's my trophy when I'm done. I get to hang it on my wall. You know what I mean? No, no. I because sell we have it. a whole get, upstairs attic yeah. full of them that we have. Nothing you need to books? Do I got books that you can hang as trophies. <laughs> I got Lord of the Rings from when I was a kid, and now I don't know what to do with it. And it's really big because my father used to use it in the hot tub, so it's got absorbed water and it's like thick. <laughs> okay. But I love to read. Yeah. My I, kids don't. I liked, uh, I was a big John Steinbeck fan for a while. But, I, for a while. I still am. I just read all his stuff. He's not coming out with anything. No yeah. Reason, but I liked all his stuff. I, for a while, I read, um, I read, John Grisham. Yeah. I read the Kindle water, books. I think books. my dad's read, like, all those, uh, is it Michael Crichton or, uh, oh, was Jurassic it? Park? Clive Cussler. Oh. 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 Those ones. He's got like all of them. So I figured out what, Li what Liam was reading because I was like, you should read the Jurassic Park. And I go upstairs and he's on the Kindle, which is an app that I install because I try to get him to read Lion Ritz in the Wardrobe, which he didn't do. Because I own all, I have the whole Carnival scenario. Yeah. And I like. You should try, get him to try to read a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> and he can talk about it and have discussions about Hitchhiker's Guide. We can do essays. <laughs> and so. I, I had him, he's like, I go up there, and he doesn't read anyway, but he's reading, he's reading Michael Crichton's uh, Jurassic Park. So I'm like, how are you reading Jurassic Park? Because we don't own Jurassic Park. He's like, I don't know, I just searched for it, and I started reading it. Like, I, I don't understand how this is a thing. So I, I go to my Kindle, because I have to download Witch World Book 3, and uh, it, there's a downloaded version of the sample of, uh. of it. So you can, he's... Which is great, because he's never going to read the book. Yeah. But at least he feels like he can read the book. And when he decides he doesn't actually want to read it, it doesn't cost him any money. Or if he decides he really wants it, you know that I he's going to read it. Yeah, if he gets all the way through the sample, I'll buy it. The sample's only, what, like three pages? <laughs> yeah, I've read Jurassic Park, book one and book two. They're phenomenally better than the movie. Derek tries to get all everybody to read Jurassic Park. <laughs> Brianna. Like, the thing is, the kids, I think the kids would like the books, but they're like, oh, no, dad tells me to read it. I'm going to read it. Like, they watch the movies. Your opinion isn't nearly worth what they're... And they're, they're really good books. They're kind of, they like the, like, jump scare horror type stuff, and that's Jurassic Park. It's everything right there with dinosaurs. Except Hammond doesn't make it so well in the books compared to he does in, in the movie. Which she seems to last forever in the movie. What's Hammond again? The John Hammond, the guy that invented Jurassic oh, Park. Yeah, John Hammond. Yeah, he's not a he's not a thing. Like they killed him off. Preacher comic book for the win. Have you read that one, Ian? What is it? Preacher. Preacher? No, I haven't. Um, I read so many right now. It's hard to add more because <laughs> I got such a backlog. How often do they come out? Comics. Yeah. Well, uh, like a given series. Yeah, like. There's some that come out. Uh, like uh, they just did Justice League versus Suicide Squad, and there was a it was a, it was a six issue run, and those came out every week, oh. so a month and a half and it was done. And some of the regular ones, like Action or DC Comics, come out like every two weeks, oh. and then some come out once a month, and then some come out once every month and a half or two months. Mm -hmm. So it depends on like the series. Yeah, the series. So. So you have a lot of books to read. I don't. I, I, like I probably it. got. Well, I, I just them. got seventy today. You know what I don't. And, like? I, and I probably have seventy. Seven zero. zero. 40 or 45 left over from the last one. Holy crap, dude. Yeah. 
Okay, I have one book. Um, I'm just telling you right now, you have a problem. And I'm 10% through it. You know what? You want to know how much Witch World costs? You saw costs? my closet. Does that look? Yeah, that looks like a problem. Oh, it does. You, know, you want to know how much Witch World costs? Look... For me to buy the Kindle book for Witch World cost me $2.99. That's a comic. It's not a comic. That's the Witch comic. World? What is Witch World? It's the book that uh, Jalitha's dad told me to read. It, oh. It's got the one that has her, that her dad named her from. So it's not, really that? is this like sinkable or? Yeah, you can sink okay. it. Uh, it. It goes down the bone. Yeah. That's so that's yeah. why I was doing that, so I could see what the consistency was. He's like, oh, it's about this. This. I'm like, oh, that doesn't sound that bad. I don't know why out of everybody he could have picked for her name <laughs> that Jalitha came from this book. Like, the funny part is her name is only said once in the first book. <laughs> like in the very last page. But that's her. That's her namesake. You're reading her. Her namesake. Right? Yes. Yeah, because because she's a witch. Said it well, it said the, she said. Yeah, the, but why are you reading about her? Huh? Never mind. Well, it's a. The books are good. Like well, her he's dad a nerd. Said when we were when her dad was down, he's like, you need to read these. He's like, you need to read this, and I, I and I went out on my phone to. But the, just because Jalith is a witch, you don't have to read about her. Yeah. No. It was two dollars. Like I was like, I, I'm, I'm making fun of Jay. No, but I thought it was funny. I'm like, I looked at it and I looked at it and I'm like, dude, this is two bucks, two two dollars to to buy this book How from Kenya. Did you broadcast? Oh, someone said, what's a good way to know when you start a live stream? Uh, if you subscribe to the show and then you click the gear and you say receive notifications, it should say. I get them. There's a couple people I watch that have live streams, and right when they go live, I get an email that says so and so is live on YouTube. That's the easiest way to know right away. Uh, depending on the version of YouTube you have, mm, it should have a gear, or a gear or a bell. The bell is a good one. If you have a bell, you click the bell and it just reminds you. Otherwise, you click the bell and it comes up and says, do you want to be notified? That's the easiest way to do it. No spilly, no spilly. <laughs> no spilly? It's like wings. You don't want them. Who's, no, who's... you don't want wings. No whammies. How much does 70 magazines cost? <laughs> he never said that. If you have a bell, you click on the bell. Uh, let me see what I have. I have a beta interface. I have a bell. Um, then the bell has a gear. Yeah, see, you have a bell that pops out. Yeah, you, you click on the bell. Yeah. Then there's a gear. It says your notifications live here. Uh. And then if you click on the gear... It brings up a whole nother screen. That says receive notifications when a new episode Hello. comes out or something. Send me emails about my YouTube activity. Only send me required service on emails. I'd like to receive email updates from YouTube about blah blah blah. Like but you have to, if you go to if you go to a channel that you subscribe to, there should be a bell. Or something. Like mine just has a bell that turns red when I click on it, but I have like a early adopter interface. Activity on my videos or channel, activity on my comments or other just go to youtube.com slash everyday drinkers. Yeah, the Tavolo Perfect Cubes. What about him? He's never seen the perfect ice cube trays. Oh, yeah, they're right here. Yeah. So. They have like one inch cubes and two inch cubes. Those are the two inch this cubes. This is not, this is fucking king cubes. King cubes. Uh, hold on. I got them around here. That's what he just walked away with. <laughs> yeah, I just walked away with You walked away with them. I will show you. Yes. Can you so sh- that you can thus purchase them from, from awesomedrinks.com. These are Tavol. These are great. These I sell to, uh, what's that vodka company up north? Tamworth. Yeah, Tamworth. Tamworth. Distillery buys these. That's why I carry gray, really. See? You get two of the pack. Boom. They come out to be perfectly square. They're, they don't, they're not clear. <laughs> he has the king ones and the easy, but he doesn't have those. <laughs> this is the king. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing, I kind of, I alluded this to Ian, but... I'd love to know you guys, since you're all in the chat room, all X amount of you. How many are you? Oh, Trey, that's so nice. 27? Cool. What do you say? He coaches a kid's basketball team on Friday. Well, that's cool. Uh, if what, what I'm going to be doing on awesomedrinks.com is selling like a bundle <laughs> that has stuff to make a cocktail. What, what happened? Nothing. When I click the bell, a pop-up comes up asking if I want notifications. When you check the box, the bell has lines on each side like it's ringing. Perfect! (laughs) That's what you need to do. Uh, So, there are going to be cocktails that I'll be putting out on AwesomeDrakes.com. Jennifer's designed one today. Just another one. 
flimsy-ish like the Kings. I don't mean flimsy. -ish. Yes, you mean silicone. They're silicone. They are silicone. Oh, yes, they're silicone. Yes, they're silicone. Just like the, it's the same thing. It's just they're in small squares. Hold on. Let me shut that door because it's loud. It's shut. Just saying. So what I want to do is I'm going to release, we're going to create three to start with. A gin, a rum, a vodka, vodka. recipe. Yeah. Right? So that recipe is going to come with a recipe card, whatever the syrups and the bitters you need, glassware, ice cube trays, and any of the other random crap to build the recipe. Just no alcohol. Just no alcohol. Yeah. So you'll be able to go to Austin and say, I like whiskey. You click on the whiskey link and go, oh, here's how you make a whiskey sour. Yeah. It comes with liver real sour mix and king cubes and old-fashioned glasses click done you own it Boom. now you have the recipe card comes in there it'll be a picture with the recipe just add bourbon some history you add bourbon you're done okay. then we'll have one that jennifer designed tonight called the we don't have a name for it yet but it's got uh that's not it it's got rum orange juice lemon juice cardamom bitters or shot it oleosaccharum from cocktail size hmm. The, the problem I have is that we have all these really cool... Okay, here's a good example. We have these cool products, right? But what do you do with them? Right, nobody knows what to do with them. And I keep asking people, they're like, oh, you have awesome stuff, but I don't know how to use it. Eat your Cheetos. Yeah, so, Marvel or DC? Uh, I used to be like only Marvel, but DC's got some really good stuff right now. But Image usually is pretty good. People Where's that from? With the King Cube, says Portland, Maine. Hmm, nice. So there's a company in Portland, Maine called Owl and Whale. They sent me these samples. Acid phosphate. What the hell is that? Right. Oh. Huh? Oh. A burning tongue? No. So, what am I going to do? If I wanted to sell this, how the hell do I sell acid phosphate? It tastes like the... It tastes like lemonade. Like the bite from lemonade? Yeah. Try it. You can't try it. You got fucking craziness in your So... That could util be utilized in a cocktail. Know, we didn't need to see your chewed Cheetos. <laughs> so to utilize Mention that in that. a cocktail, this is persimmon bitters. Um, persimmon? Yeah, what is that? Cherry bitters, that's obvious. So to use this on a cocktail, the problem is no one's going to buy it, right? I don't tell these guys that because I don't carry their product yet, but Ooh. I'd like to, right? Yeah, it doesn't go with Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't put it in a Trump cocktail. But it could be utilized in a cocktail. It's sour, bitter, acid. Acid, right? Yeah. So to use this in a cocktail, if nobody's gonna buy this unless they know what the fuck it does. Yeah. So that's two people. Yeah. And so why, why are they gonna this? try to balance their own cocktail when they don't know what to do with it? Right. If I hand you a cocktail, go make this. You need this, that other thing, this, some cranberry juice, and something else, and you go, okay, I'll make that taste awesome. I'll have a whole party with it. Now you have a reason to buy this. If you have a party and all this goes away, you know, oh, I can buy acid phosphate and Austin Bridge that. But you don't know. So the goal is to build recipes that you can apply at home, make cocktails, like it, want to reorder the ingredients. So that's kind of where I want to go with that and have like the ability to buy, literally buy a cocktail. Add whiskey or whatever, rum, light rum, like hers, and then you have all your shit. What do you think? Makes sense. You guys might be a little smarter than that because you kind of get it. You've been watching the show. But some people are like, oh, you don't have the same concepts for awesome drinks as you do in your show. You teach people how to make cocktails. Nobody knows what to buy. Yeah. So I have to figure out how to solve that. No, it makes sense. Makes sense. I mean, it's one thing to, once you have stuff to play around with it, but what do you buy? Why do you buy it? What do you put it in? Right. You get to the store. You're on the website. You're like, you have all kinds of cool stuff. Now what? Are the vinyl shakers coming back? Uh, the vinyl shakers? I don't think so. I don't think I want to carry vinyl shakers anymore because nobody buys them. So, first thing I have to do is sell off all the old stuff. So, if you go to the sale items, you're going to see all kinds of crap in there. Buy it all. I just need to get rid of it. Uh, it's all on sale. I just want to get it, move it out. Uh, some of the colors of Tavolo are on sale because I'm not going to carry the purples and the other colors. I'm going to carry like three colors. I think I, these might be on sale. I don't even know. Uh, just to get rid of them. I and mistakenly bought a lot of those. I think that I bought some red and pink ones from you because you were getting rid of them. Yeah. yeah. I got rid of the pink ones once. Yeah. So, I've got... The red ones we keep, the, I'm going to keep the red, the blue, and the gray, I think, and then kind of work off those, but uh, I like them better than the powder coat. The problem with the powder coat is they can chip, but at the same time, nobody buys the 
vinyl ones. So it's like so I. He likes the vinyl better than the powder. I, I can completely understand that. We just use steel. Yeah, I'm I fine like with the steel. steel. I like the steel. The, the ten on ten. Yeah. yeah. The problem is nobody buys the vinyl. If I sold as much vinyl as I sold polished, then I'd carry both. But at this point, it's like I'm need to carry the stuff that sells, and those just don't do it for me. <clears throat> we like ten on ten action. Yeah. A little metal on metal, a little chafing. <laughs> metal on metal chafing. Yeah. Chafing. Football, football, four eight, football or four eight four rugby kicked my ass. I hear you. I ran today and I can't move. I walked today up the floor. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, for my car to work. Yeah, it's tough. And then back. It's tough. <laughs> That's a tough. Hey, pro tip: if somebody has a limp, don't have them hold the camera. <laughs> in it's the morning, morning as long as you're not doing walking shots <laughs> in the morning just so you, just <laughs> you can see the limp get better I just gotta warm up that's all just just need to to you got, next time we have up. Ian run around for a while and, and before you can hold this camera you need to run <laughs> show us you know how to walk <laughs> Treya I don't run a lot of miles I uh, today I haven't run a mile I usually run no more than three but Jalitha wants me to run five in April and <laughs> I ran one today and had a massive cramp. I think I did a total of two, but four that. of them were walking. I, the problem is I get a cramp every time I get to the third mile. Are you, are you drinking enough water? Yeah. But the problem is it's like water. you drink too much water or you don't drink enough. Or you eat too soon. Drink too much. Be right on the edge of having to pee because you're going to start sweating it out. But if I'm on the edge of having to pee, that seems like it's too much. Not on the edge like it's going to trickle out of your dick. <laughs> on the edge like, oh, I could pee. But I, I, I don't have to pee. That edge. That's a lot of water. I have to pee all the time. Yeah, oh. it is. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's the problem. That always worked for me. If I had to pee a little bit, if I felt like I might have to pee before Do working out, you just out, pee a little bit and then I know I'd sweat it out. I don't sweat very much. No, that's, that's a problem. I sweat a lot. So, Jen, edge of pee, that's when you know. Yeah. It's time, time to sweat. Yes, Stogie, I would highly suggest you rinse out the sponge. That is a great idea. I need a lot of water, though. Rinse out the sponge, and if you have copper mugs, dry them. Dry them, yes. Yeah, so I, I haven't figured out the running thing yet. Like, I tore, I, tore your left meniscus. I don't even What's know where my mean? meniscus is. Isn't that the thing that dangles behind my tongue? It's then you knee. get Gatorade gut. It's in your knee. Your meniscus. I like, yeah. I like, I like dodgeball. No, but like, it is funny. Today, I got a cramp at mile <laughs> that was one. random. I like dodgeball. I like that. Did you watch the Pro Bowl Skills Day? Is that why? Mm -hmm. Me? Yeah, is that why Dodgeball? She said that. Dodgeball oh. is dangerous. Oh. I like Dodgeball. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, I had a cramp on the mile one and a half Your today. It feels like it's twisting up when you start to run. No, no. it's the side. No, it's, the, it's that side. I think it's called side stitch or something like that. Like, right under the right ribs. It just gets very painful. Like, right here. My stomach's fine. Like, I, I have a stomach of steel. I eat... <laughs> Hot wings, but like <laughs> right here, freaking pain, and it makes and it makes it hard to breathe. So now you're running, but you're like, and I try. I can usually do like a lap. Maybe that's because you're starting too hard. So you gotta start off with like a like work your way up to speed. But at the third mile, at, like when I was running, I'd like spend the first mile and just kind of like I started out five miles an hour, which is kind of slow, and I'd gradually work up to like whatever my my Speed was gonna be six and a half, seven mile an hour, whatever my speed was. Gonna I usually be. start at like a thirteen mile minute, and I try and get to a ten mile minute. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But do that for a mile. Do like a nice, yeah. easy. Do whatever is easy for a mile. Let your body warm up. Get, get your body used to it. I have to figure something out. That's your gallbladder. My gallbladder? Maybe I just get that shit taken out. <laughs> can you take out your gallbladder? Hey, doc, can you just take out this gallbladder? It's fucking bothering me. Rough. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Are you playing games, Ian? Nope. <laughs> I just sent a text. Uh, I'm tweeting. You're tweeting. My bad. I was sending a tweet. That's yeah, it's under my right rib. I have a gallbladder under there? No. Does it, what's it do? Uh, it, uh, it filters stones out of your digestive tract. No, tray. that's a... Appendix? Appendix. No, your gallbladder, gallbladder produces bile. Oh, I need that. Yeah. Sounds important. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking it out. I had mine taken out. No biggie. <laughs> like, why do you want this out? 
You got, I got extreme pain on mile three. I prefer dry heaves to bile heaves. Yeah. <laughs> on mile three, I get, I get massive cramp. I need to solve this problem. They're like, oh, just remove that. A couple ribs, some gallbladders, whatever. Oh, it holds bile. Doesn't make it. I'll just stop bile. Burnt. Yeah, burnt. All right, everybody. Thank you for showing up, and I will, I will give you updates on my gallbladder. <laughs> Seriously. Buenos <laughs> nachos. <laughs> Buenos, Buenos nachos and cheese. <laughs> Thanks, Don't everybody. Hold bile doesn't make it. Oh, yes. Liver makes it. Sorry, my bad. I like it. bile or stone. My liver's strong. I drink. Good night, David. Thanks, everybody, for showing up. i see you next month, probably the end of February, whatever the first Friday is of the end of February, more than likely. The first Friday of the end of February. That's oh, wait, no. <laughs> the last Friday of February. <laughs> February will most likely be the uh, the stream. February is a short one. <laughs> uh, winner. <laughs> Thank y'all. <laughs> Wait, I'm on the wrong side. There we go. Scotchy yeah. makes Scotch face. That's an awesome name. <laughs> All right, see you later. Bye. So, did you have a good vacation? Uh, yeah, it was it was good. Um, <laughs>